Hi, I'm Rob from Pop Scene. Thanks for joining us live on YouTube for Good Beer Live's Best of 2019. As always, I'm joined by Jake. Hello. You all right? <laughs> I'm all good. Oh, good. What? Drink some beer. Yeah, absolutely. Greg, how you doing, mate? How you doing? All right. Yeah, all good. Um, He's gone for a hat this evening. Yeah, I've gone for a classic. Fancied a bit of uh, Belgian y sort of uh, thing going on at the moment. Yeah. It's not in the nine, like a nine percent beer. Well, actually, mine's eight, so I can't really say much. And do my, I might do my eyes deceive me. We've got a, a lovely first of our two special guests. We've got our lovely Peter, the clueless drinker. How are you doing, mate? Evening, chaps. Uh, very happy to be here, and I'm doing pretty damn well. Hope Ooh. everyone else is doing okay. Yeah, yeah. All good. So Harry, Harry is going to be joining us probably in about 15, 20 minutes, and um, but he'll he'll play catch up. Without further ado, I'm going to tell you what I'm drinking, then we'll go through what everybody else is. This is one what I was really excited to see. I'm just filming a review, which is um, Lawson's finest liquor. Oh, I've, I've, I've been wanting one of those for years. Me too. Me too. I can't believe it. When I, I mean, I got it from Brewdog. So yeah, you'll yeah. probably be able to pick it up in Brewdog at the moment. I got it in Brewdog in, Le in the little one in Leeds. So I mean, oh next time God. you're in London, I'm, chances are you get it. It's like six, six, seven weeks old. It's in still pretty good nick. I mean, it was it's one of those kind of OG whales, really. When you think of, yeah. kind of like the emerging East Coast scene, Heady Topper, and, and yeah. this uh, kind of some of those, really. I remember seeing it on a beer review about five, five or six years ago, and it was exactly you know, they were going bonkers. This is before the New England craze. Oh, Harry is it? Really, gonna, really, really, go, really kicked go. off, and then I was like, yeah, fully, you know, fully it's like that. Um, but yeah, you I mean so I was really I was I think I just saw somebody had checked it in on 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 tap, so I'm like, hang on, I'm gonna have to go and get that. Um, it's just one of those beers, as, as you were saying, it's what people go nuts for. Maybe like five years ago, um, yeah. very much kind of on that start of that wave of kind of stuff coming out of the East Coast, which is making a bit of a, a rumble. So uh, yes, I had to grab myself a can. So what's everybody else drinking? I'm on um, salts. Citra, just for you, Rob, I'll pronounce it. Nipa Junior. <laughs> it's a, yeah, new, uh, just a, well, it's 4.3%, so Session New England IPA. And it's, so it's uh, not even Junior, is it? Because it's JNR. So yeah, JNR, it? yeah. Junior. Yeah. But it's like a big 500 mil can, reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. <laughs> I've not even seen them around here. Really? Yeah, it's, it's down tasty. Pretty good. I don't know when it was. Uh, it's the 22nd of May 20 on there, so. Reasonably I'm sure fresh. That it's only been canned in the last like mm. four weeks, tops. Two, three weeks, something like that. Oh, okay. But it's damn good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had it on draft. But, well, I've had it on cask. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I think it'd be great on cask. Yeah. Yeah. Cross. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, yeah, it's odd. It's odd their distribution around like. Their own brewery is very minimal. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to have to have a tinker around tomorrow see if I can go and find a can. Because they've done a big can of uh, the IPL as well, I think. Yeah, I saw that today as well. In the, Actually, in one of my I think Citra Junior is newer. That's in the last two weeks. It's The IPL was the first one they put in the big cans. Oh, okay. It's quite cool. It's like a textured label and everything. Mm. It's like a hexagon, the hexagonal thing is actually like textured. And pre oh, pre right. premium labeling on this oh. premium session craft day premium fashion. Yes. I've made the poor decision of having the weakest beer being 7.2. <laughs> well, I've got lined up, so <clears throat> good times. So, what's everybody else drinking then? Crask, just Duval. You're doing your Duval, all branded in, up in the, in the specific glass, yeah. For, for the all, the, all your, your, your glass nat, glass, you know, suitable branded glass Nazis. Yep. Peter, what's in your glass? Mm. Lovely. <coughs> so, in my glass tonight, gentlemen, <laughs> is uh, a beer from Olsnidkuren out of Sweden, I think. And this is mm. a can of the Miravil Ha Mir, which is a New England IPA, 
with Mosaic, Equinot and Amarillo Cryo Hops. Mm. And I did an absolutely fantastic job on the pronunciation, so. <laughs> I'm none the wiser, so you probably you can say yeah. things with enough confidence and people believe you. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, speaking of glass, this mm. one was, um, I don't want to say stolen from Head of Steam. But, <laughs> but stolen from Head of Steam. But you nice, took it uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Beaver Town glass, so. Oh, they can afford it. And I've just the admitted a crime on stream. Is take that glass. Thing. What about your your exactly Prams, yeah. your, your Pramsbury glass? Did you take your Pramsbury glass? Uh, yes, I've got that in the uh, well, the glass yeah, cabinet yeah. off camera. It's a, it's a very smart Pramsbury glass from Pramsbury. Pramsbury. It's Pramsbury a wonderful Bury. glass. Yeah. Prams Pramsbury. So, I think this is something joke that I'm not privy to. It's it, it's not, but it's a really nice glass. <laughs> it is nice glass. It'll make an appearance. Yeah. Oh, nice. I really hope you're <laughs> drinking from a, a Swindon Beer Festival glass. If only. <laughs> if only. I, 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 I've i come home. Swindon. Is it Swindon? It, it's Swindon. My, my sat nav pronounces it as Swindon. Oh, right. So nice. I call it Swindon. Um, oh, I've, oh, actually, oh. I've actually come home and, and um, asked mum and dad. What glasses I, was I say, have? Your I house have. looks like you've got like a series of leather-bound books. I mean, <laughs> I'm in my da- I'm in my dad's office. <laughs> so oh. It's um, oh. sponsored by um, some weird fucking shit on Red Tube. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, it's but, yeah. another ma- mahogany from here. Mm, it's sexual. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've leather. got some. It is leathery, like this beer, which isn't. Um, I was asking, what glass do I have down here? I've only got my, my old Nergner, Nergner crystal stemmed glass. Oh, yeah. For, rub it for, in. For a, yeah. For a, for a fine sure. beer. I never so forget good. that we, we are also, what's that? The brewery 11. is 11 Pipers yeah. Piping. So what kind of beer is that? I, it's a Scotch ale. I, was, I, I got this today. Uh, I was actually intending on paying for it. Um, and then I, well, yeah, nearly. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was intending on paying for the sale, um, but uh, no, the guy owed me anyway. It's all sorted, and he gave me for free. Um, so yeah, so he, he gave me this a couple of other cans as well for free. So uh, yeah, sure. yeah so, so is it so Scotch ale? Is it barrel aged? Yeah, it... it's. It, they have done a barrel aged one of it, but this is not the barrel aged version. This is just the standard sessionable eleven percent version. Uh, Scotch ale brewed with candy sugar and coriander. Uh, the, so they've done twelve beers in this series, apparently. So, um, yeah, and this is I've seen them on, the, seen them on today. Yeah, this is the eleventh version or eleventh in the series uh, from last in, year. In the song, isn't it? So. Yeah, eleven pipers piping. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, twelve. Thank no, goodness you didn't, somebody didn't pick up that kind of like baton and run with it. No, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll do that at the end. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll end on a nice run. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Could be a live medley. Yeah. <laughs> Over my oh, dead body. I'd see a karaoke start, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Good answer. So yeah, so did you say what barrel it were in? What barrels it's in? Uh, so they have done them in, in. They have done Scotch, uh, Scotch barrels, but not this one. Scotch, Scotch barrels is what it is. What he was described on untapped Scotch barrels, um, but I, this one's just not. It's just a standard, straightforward session ale, which At I eleven percent. Eleven percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, just, I think Harry's set his star out for the evening. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd overdone it, but there's always someone else, isn't there? I mean, I do have this as well, but anyway, we'll go on to that later. Okay, cool. I'm sure yeah. we will. I'm sure we will. I'm sure you will. We'll, we'll try to. <laughs> so, <laughs> as uh, we can, uh, I said at the start, this is this is our kind of like <laughs> best on 2018, formerly known as the Golden Pints, but I mean, fuck that shit, because I, I don't think anybody really adheres to it anymore. So. And there's a lot of long meandering, boring categories in Golden Pints. Uh, Cook 
cut, off, cut the kind of uh, cut away all the kind of surplus shite and get down to the stuff that people actually want to hear about. And I guess it gives us the opportunity to kind of elaborate and discuss it further, and maybe bully Craig into getting on the untapped after sharing some uh, ratings like that at some point if he's feeling that way inclined. <laughs> It'd be nice to do that for the for the like the, the overall best beer anyway. See what if we share those opinions with the the the, the greater beer drinking public. So I'm going to say let's start on. I'm, I, I, I class it as best small pack. So it's can can or bottle. Um, and the, and, the, so in the, and this is your British kind of because obviously we we're probably oh. drinking primarily primarily British beer apart from Harry. It was a big posh bastard. <laughs> and he gets all the trading and all that business. Um, but uh, obviously, we, we are all kind of British beer tubers, so that's primarily what we drink. So, yes, yeah, so the best British small pack beer. Who wants to go first? I didn't do British. I haven't looked that up. <laughs> we'll just trade we'll Craig at the end then. Craig can get his <laughs> thinking hard. <laughs> yeah. no, should have been clear that, but... Yeah, it was, I just went with the list. There you go. But anyway, <laughs> give it some thought. You've got until uh, I'll finish thinking. Oh, I'm not doing so, it. Jake, <laughs> Jake, what, what did you have? Um, I've gone. I've gone localish on my well, mm. pretty. I say localish is one of my closest breweries. I've gone for Little Earth Projects Lemon and Rosemary Saison, which is six point three percent. Um, a beer that was. It, it's it's so good because it was. It's a saison, but it's more gone down like the sour root, and with that rosemary, it gives it that like really nice like savoury edge. So it's it actually ends up being like quite a balanced, drinkable beer. And in the summer, it was a it was a great beer to have, and and I did have have it on a keg as well. But I thought it was better in the uh, in the small pack territory. But did, yeah, did you have that indie man? I did have an Andy man, yeah. Oh, that was your freebie. Yeah, your fucking that was my little freebie. <laughs> yeah. Shocking, yeah. Shocking. <laughs> Telling you, everybody's got a price. Yeah. Jake's is the small. They, they, they said just, just put it in the small pack category and I'll give you, give you this yeah, yeah, for yeah. free. <laughs> yeah, just give us a little, little, little so nod. Much, how much weight it carries. But no, it is, it is, it is a great beer. And, it, and it's because a lot of their beers can be, actually be quite challenging, whereas that mm. is like just absolutely down drinkable. Um, Sort of getting on for like your burning sky territory. Yes, I had yeah. a bunch of burning sky last night. Actually, I don't remember most of them. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I had quite a lot to drink last night. Um, but I, I, yeah, I had their thing, the um, couple of their cans, rubber, rubber's porter. That's uh, that's going to be a that's going to be a future classic. Is rubber's porter mm-hmm. from burning sky? Yeah, mm. I, had that, I, had in, I had that in bottle earlier in the year. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yes, so, um, yeah, you said, yeah, challenging. I guess that's the thing that always kind of, like, scares me off Little Earth Projects. It's a bit like, oh, mm-hmm. you know, it's, all, it's like instant heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Re- reaching for the Gaviscon. Yeah, yeah, this this one. I, I suppose if you had enough of them, it'd probably get you that way, but the, the Lemon and Rosemary Saison was, was damn good. Worthy of, worthy of best small pack. You want a nice, nice, nice bit of pork as well. A bit of nice yeah. bit of pork. I think, I think, I had, it, I think I had it with money. chili. <laughs> <laughs> bit of fennel in there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bit of fennel. Anyway. Um, I'll, well, I'll, I'll go with mine. Um, so, um, oh, yeah. My best small pack is, is, is can. Um, uh, pressure drop. And understanding whole systems, which is a New England IPA, um, probably the beer I drank most of this year. Um, I bought as much of as much of it as I could uh, when it came out. I think just I think it's just Citra. I think it's a, just single hop Citra, um, New England style IPA. Absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, I kind of bought as much as I could from one branch of Trembley Manor, and I went and bought more of it from there, and I bought some more direct. It's just yeah, absolutely stunning. I mean, <laughs> It just kind of like nails everything I like about kind of New England IPA currently. That it doesn't, it didn't go over, overtly kind of verdant, kind of sweet and stuff. I think, I think for me, Pressure Drop always kind of strike that kind of balance between it's not bitter, but it's not kind of cloying and kind of hard work. Um, and but yeah, absolutely loved it. I know a lot of bit of a darling of the Instagram crowd was that kind of being as well. Um, not that I'm, I'm 
of trying to trying to um, boost my. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to get to fucking a thousand followers followers on Instagram just by picking that beer. <laughs> Can, uh, but yeah, I thought that was I thought that was absolutely stunning. Peter, um, <clears throat> mine's can, and it's probably so. I judge this on the beer that I've drank the most yeah. this year, and that's probably uh, even from Northern mm-hmm. Monk, just because of how accessible, affordable, and uh, there's never a drop in quality on it. So yeah, it's very consistent. I don't know. It's just. Pro- yeah, it's just easy. Grab a four pack and just enjoy them at your own leisure. And yeah, that, that's it, really. It could have easily potentially been my favourite beer of the year, but then I was like, no, that's a bit too obvious. But um, yeah, I think this category is perfect for a beer like that. Mm. Yeah, so, that's it. It's that's like how do you want. how you define kind of something that is. I mean, is it because because there's a couple of beers that I've got later on which um, I've had I've had once, uh, maybe it just kind of made an impression on me, um, and then but then other ones it's it's stuff that I've come back to, time and time again. It's kind of like it's proved it's proved it's um, kind of worth, I guess, in that sense. It's a bit. I mean, exactly what Jake said as well. It's something that he's had multiple times in, in kind of time and place and all that kind of business. I think that um, that plays a big role. But I think yes. it's completely valid to be like something that you had once and it absolutely knocked your socks off as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's all about yeah. kind of finding kind of like kind of wonderful little moments as well. So, um, but yeah, Ethan's a great beer. It's a great beer. And it is the kind of beer that you can buy a four pack of because it's not silly expensive still. It's got up in price. No, it's, it's not silly for, expensive. Yeah, slightly got up in price, but for um, pound per. Liter, not too bad. Mm. Absolutely, mm. Harry. What are you? What have you as, got? As, there? as I've just been writing them down on my side, um, Sunny Rolling Man has to be my uh, small pack beer for sure because um, it's it's so accessible. Well, in terms of like price, price wise, three fifty four quid for a can. Um, it's just five hundred mils as well. Five, you know, five hundred or, or or is it four four? I can't remember. Four four. Well, five hundred must be. I I, I haven't drank a can of theirs for a couple of weeks. Um, but um, but yeah, it's just like yeah, three fifty four quid a can, and then you go go on have it on draft in in one there, in in the bar in the in tap room, and it's what four quid for a pint. Yeah, four quid a pint, or it's like three fifty four quid for a can. Um, and it's actually on my drive back up to Brom, so it's brilliant. You can have, you know, two two you know cans and drive, or two pints and drive. And and I don't advocate <laughs> this. Wow, well, yeah. I don't advocate you, this. You're like cup holder. Yeah, kind of steady on steady the way. driving man on the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> that should be their new beer, like a fucking imperial. Hartman <laughs> Group might have a alcohol free. Yeah, please. Yeah, they're zero point five percent version that be, 0.95% <laughs> um but yeah no it, it's just been like absolutely smashable all year round and it's just so so high in quality i think in terms of i i, I think we all like to say that beer in the uk is very very close to the quality of what we get in the, in the states in terms of ridiculously juicy dank stuff i can only say uh-huh. that for me there's only about two or three breweries who are actually right up there and they are one of them they're they are lead it for me for sure in terms of being right up there and and for me it's only an, even when it's in, in brum as well it's only like an hour and a half down the road and, and from where i am at the moment it's only an hour down the road it's it's pretty local and it's just ridiculously easy drinking for steady is for sure um and there are other beers that i've enjoyed from steady uh, for, from Daya, but like steady's been just the beer for me for the year for sure and I'll continue going back and getting ridiculous amounts of their beer. So, um, yeah, steady for sure. Cool. Yeah, I, I had it this afternoon. Hmm. Yeah, it's a great beer. Can't go wrong, yeah. can you? I don't know. I had a little bit this afternoon as well. I had a, another one a day. I had the oh. um, red IPA, which is not so red. Um, yeah, the um, Big Rock Count Candy Mountain. Yeah, I just had a little oh, sip of it. Yeah, not very red. No, it's more like a 
oxidized city color. Peter's really kind of cranking up the, um, the <laughs> ASMR. He's, he's got his he's got two liters two liter cider. <laughs> right, yeah. <Rusty> jacks. <laughs> it's just pure alcohol. Just what I want. In that yeah. oh. So great. <clears throat> yeah. What are you gonna go oh. for? Well I've done can and bottle. Um so a can will be from North Brunco, your neck of the woods. And it's that can he brought to the box show in Brum. Um, was oh. majest Majestic Voyage was the mm. can. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, I was, I was just going through, it jogs your memory when you have a, when you do that. And it's like, oh, yeah, that was pretty damn. There's quite a few, but obviously that, that was awesome. Um, bottle from Burning Sky. Uh, Craig paused. Hello, Craig. Oh, Craig. The bottle from Burning Craig. Sky killed him. You never know. He was, he's been it's destroyed it's by a bottle of Burning Sky. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> Jake, come, come on. on. Come on, Jake. Don't help. leave us, Craig. We're on tender hooks there. That's Jake, help. He had, he had this preamble. Oh, like he was building up to it, and they were like, "I'll set you on fire, you fucker." Oh. That took all of my brain power to be able to turn to the right direction. <laughs> I really geared up for it. <laughs> that way. Which is actually that way. That way. It's that way. <laughs> so I'm fire. Oh, it's oh, he's gone. Gone. oh, he's gone. He died. Sorry. <laughs> He'll be back in a bit. He'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Craig will be back shortly. He it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good to be alive if Craig didn't have computer troubles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, he's, as he was saying there, the Mystic Vice from North, peanut butter um, stout, about 8%. Yeah, it was fantastic. I brought a couple of cans to the um, <coughs> meet-up in, in Birmingham, which was, was that February? Yeah, yeah. February, March. February. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that, I guess that was the point I was making. I mean, sometimes, I mean, as a few of us have said, it was something that is um, um, what we kind of uh, have quite often, but then sometimes it's, it's something that kind of really kind of let kind of left you um, with an impression uh, kind of like a certain impression and i guess that was that was the start of start of the weekend and stuff so which is mm. so it's, yeah exactly it's a great example of <coughs> kind of tying in kind of like lovely memories and stuff into beers yeah. mm. anyway he's back sorry about that that's so, right I, I forgot that i forgot to switch the internet so i was on downstairs and it, as soon as i talk it went nah bye <laughs> um plug in dial up <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the, so North Brunco Majestic Voyage for the can, and then Burnish Skies Anniversary Ale 2018 for the bottle. Um, and I've been to quite a few bottle shares this year, and there's, there's probably one or two other bits and pieces that are on that level, but yeah, that's one that really kind of stuck in my mind. Um, I know the 2019's come out a few weeks ago, so I'm hoping, well looking at getting that soon um so yeah that was the uh there's there a lot of other beers as i said on, on both categories or that little, you know. yeah that's the thing we could probably it's, rattle off just, loads couldn't we <laughs> you just you, you, as soon as you yeah. you go i mean that's the good thing about having untapped it does jolt your memory obviously i would forget i'll just be like i have some amazing beers completely forgotten about them yeah, so so that so that helps. That's basically the whole of LCBF for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I had some amazing beers. I don't yeah. remember any of them. <laughs> they were no, nice was, ales. Yeah, <laughs> that that was an amazing. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's 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 the uh, the first two questions, I guess. So. Yes. Um, cool. So from there, I'm going to go to. Hmm. Do we go? Do we go through all the British stuff, or do we go? Um, or do we go kind of like inter intermingle between that and overseas? What do you think? I've done over. I've done overseas with, and then you've got. Yeah, I've, I'm not. Yeah, cool. I just changed well, well, the first let's one. Mix, so. Let's mix it up then, Lisa. So I'm going to say uh, next one best overseas beer. Okay. Who wants to go first? 
Does Scotland count as overseas? <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. I mean, I, it, it, we, maybe we've got to define like a certain stretch of water to be yeah. overseas. Yeah. There's not the a sea between here and Scotland. Between, <laughs> between, 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 where you go. between me and Scotland, we have the Lake District, the Lake District, and the Peak District. So you know, this yeah, doesn't count. Large bodies that, of water doesn't count. What, 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 like what about? What about build that wall? I'm sorry. Yeah. Build a wall. <laughs> oh, Adrian's wall. Yeah. Re rebuild Adrian's wall. <laughs> I mean, you know, you never know where it. this country's going. I know. You don't. It's just weird. But yeah. Is it, is it going to that side or that side? We don't know because it's... it's... Wall in the open. Build a big wall in the Irish Sea. <laughs> Anyway, no, no, not not that I want. To. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and joking aside, I mean, uh, and I think there were probably maybe mine, maybe Jake's kind of overseas brewery last year was was Whiplash. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not seen quite as much of Whiplash. I haven't seen much Whiplash at all. Uh, I mean, they've the, been opening up their new brewery and stuff like that. So I think you're going to start yeah, seeing yeah. a hell of a lot more from those guys, but and, and bigger. Volume, so I'm sure they can be. I talk, I, I talk to Al, I talk to Al about them quite regularly. Actually, mm. he's like, "Oh, you coming over for this?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'd love to," but it's like, <laughs> not really. It's a it's fucking peanuts to get over there. I, mean, I, I know. Can it's be, I can be in Dublin in forty minutes from Leeds, Bradford. Dublin's a shit hole. Yeah, it's all right. It's shit hole. I've never been. I got invited. I've never been. A, a, from um, Whiplash invited. Uh, all right, calm um, down. Um, sure. Dad invited me over to the brewery. <laughs> so, um, well, oh. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. It cost me about four. It's quicker. It's much quicker and much cheaper to get to to Dublin than it is to get to um, London. <laughs> no. Yeah, nuts. Yeah, you, you, they give you a drink and you can, you barely finish it before you before you land in on the on flight from Leeds Bradford. Oh gosh. Anyway, I um <laughs> I, 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 I I ramble on. So yes, so um, best overseas beer. Who wants to go first? I mean, Scotland doesn't count, just for clarity. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll jump in. The, wow, uh, bollocks. <laughs> what? <laughs> best over, bollocks. My best overseas beer <laughs> <laughs> wasn't bollocks. It was uh, it was the uh, Creature Comforts. Welcome, my friends. 12% Imperial Stout from... Uh, I remember it. From Indie Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it helps that I remember it. So that's, no, I remember <laughs> it. I, I do remember it. Yeah. <laughs> I was all right up until that point. It's when I got to Cloudwater and had a yeah. conversation with a, bounce, with a bouncer. That's when I was, it gets a bit, gets, gets a bit hazy. <laughs> yeah, you're talking above your fucking station, mate. <laughs> no, the, yeah, yeah, no. That that beer from a uh, creek from Creature Comforts was one. Well, it was one of the standouts of the whole of Indie Man, really. Yeah, um, it was. It was two tokens. Two tokens, which helped. Boom. Which which helped the psychology of it. Absolutely. Um, Mad. Yeah, but um, I, I can't remember the the adjuncts now. Was it like chocolate and some other stuff? Was it hazelnut? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it was yeah. I remember it that well. <laughs> what was it called again? Uh, welcome, my friends. Oh, welcome, my friends. I remember the uh, old yeah. Alvin now. Well. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to my now friends. Now You're young children. Oh, my You're my not friend. children. You're men. Ooh, and women. Vanilla, coffee, and almonds. Almonds. Yeah. Almonds. There you go. Hmm? You beat me to no, it. No, well, that was a cracker. I think I had it twice, actually. Oh. That, was, that was a good so beer. Got, uh, my, my, la my last beer, I was going to go and get um, the Refinback beer, but then they changed it over and it had, it had some... Horrible ingredient that I didn't like. So uh, oh, I'll fuck it. I'm gonna go back and get some more of that. Yeah. But yeah, that, yeah. that, that was that was a cracker. Ruinously drinkable at twelve percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was awesome. Never had anything else by them. Never, never particularly even heard of them before. No. <laughs> before that, before that beer. No. I think they were at friends and family last year. But oh, okay. Yeah, I think the buddy, I think the, I think the, I think the buddies with cloud water. And that's how it's getting over here. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you guys can be buddies with me, and you can get your beer over this way through me. If you, if you, ever, want, <laughs> if you ever watch this. So, uh, who else? Who, who else go next? So, what? What was the question? <laughs> best overseas beer. I'm going to go. I'm going to. It's best overseas beer, and I'll go. 
Uh, I'm going to say um, Trillium, Double Dry Hop, uh, Melcher Street. Um, good beer. Yeah, it's fucking good, isn't it? It's yeah. simple but perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, my mate's brother bought, uh, brought back a bunch of um, Trillium and um, and he, he brought like a four pack of that back. So we had it a couple of times and it was like six days old and it was absolutely spot on. It's a simple beer, yeah. but just perfectly done. It's, it's, it's double dry up. Pale ale? Is it a pale ale? Uh, I think it's double IPA from memory. Is it? Melcher Is Street. Because I, 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 I was offered it earlier on yesterday. That's I could be wrong. Is. Melcher Street. Uh, IPA. Double dry hot Melcher Street. Yeah. Yeah. IPA. Well, what's, what's ABV on, on, on to? 7.2. Or was it the, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that, that was absolute cracking. Yeah. yeah, love that, love that. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm, yeah, okay, I'm just looking back. At, so I've had that a couple of times. Yeah, mate who did some trading, and then the, the mate who brought um, his brother bought the cans back from the brewery. Yeah, as I said, just it just personifies how I think makes Trillium can kind of stand like where they are. Really, I mean, it's just mm. such high quality. Masterful um, in a lot of ways. I, I, was, I was pretty gutted that when we had all them trillium in February, I was fucking whizzle wankered, and it's like <laughs> a they little nice. bit. They were good, but then no, they were we, nice. We were yeah, great, right? We, 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 but but then the day that we had all the days, and it's like that. They were amazing, yeah. amazing price, and it's a great day out. And yeah. it's kind of a little bit. They were good, yeah. And then great uh, day out. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But then we come home and or back to the flat, your, yours and uh, yours and Stuart's, and oh, yeah. uh, it, it, it was uh, it was just too hammered to a pro- pro- well, for me anyway to properly no, appreciate. We were all too hammered to appreciate anything at that point. I was a oh, bit, yeah. was a bit that, that, from, as good as like, they were time probably were partially, yeah, as, partially as, good, as good as they <laughs> yeah as, prob- as good as they almost certainly would be yeah you can't have you get to that point your beers run together to, yeah. even world class stuff so yeah. if it's wet I mean, that'll do you know it's they beer were wet and they were <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very so, moist. That one, the beer, yeah. though. <laughs> They're very, I don't know, it all got a bit hazy. It's fucking hazy mm. from the start, mate. Hey, mm. it's the days. Well, I, wasn't now sick. Now then. I wasn't sick that night. Perhaps <laughs> I was actually. I can't remember. <laughs> another, another night in the booze, more vomiting from Craig. Yeah. Um... <laughs> There you go. It's going to stain me from now on. That is. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yeah, it's Who's up next? Sorry. Uh, dog... I'll go next. My dog's barking. And uh, funny enough, I'm actually drinking it right now. Frau Gruber, um, Dimension Shifter, double dry hopped. <laughs> Dipper for Rob, 7.77. Why was the Dipper. fucking trolling of me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell have I done? Because it's your channel, Rob. Oh, you sure That's it's why? What's, but, the, what's, um, the, what's the ABV, Peter? Are you sure it's not a, a, a dipper? Oh, shut up, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be part of that. I've, Rob's, Rob's been free enough tonight <laughs> from the trolling, so. Has he? Has he? Huh. Has he really? <laughs> but uh, is it, yeah, it's is it, a, is it a sipper or a chugger or, or a sipper? Um, it, it's <laughs> it's a C IPA, chugging IPA, yeah. chipper. Uh, it's a chipper. A, a, there a we go. C I can think of as well. <laughs> come to, come to <laughs> IPA. <laughs> Is that like a but, sour um, IPA made by yeah. some Polish brewery? Funky. Yeah. Cunt's, cunt's IPA with a Z and a K. <laughs> so it's getting out really of hand. I mean, we've got <laughs> really like two it is. Minutes, this is a, it's devol- uh, this is supposed to be a PC show, but 
Uh, oh, this is the uh, glass that Harry was going on about. Oh, ni- nice. With, uh, nice um, tea light holder. It's like the um, Wonder yeah. glass, isn't it? They're much bigger. Yep, but oh, right, it's, uh, okay. funny Drop enough. Draft me a channel, I've got, a, I've got quite a big glass, haven't they? I think you can get a 4 4. Oh, right. Uh, it's really similar to um, Craft Beer Channel's glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Got Which I now put uh, coffee beans in. Paid for it as well. I paid Because it, well. it smells nice. Mmm. <laughs> but, um, cool. yeah, Frau Gruber. So you're I tried actually this drinking your best last kind week. of overseas beer? I am because I picked up another can today while I was in Manchester because wow. Beermoff had a few of their beers, which I was. Very surprised that. So I don't know if it's because of the collabs and the, the tap takeover from Northern Monk. Probably. That yeah, they've yeah. managed to get hold of some. But um yeah, this is that, to me this is on, on par with some of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they were involved in um the tap takeover while Dark and Wild City was going on because I know yeah. there was some stuff happening in the bars, but this is just what I go to when it comes to uh, hazy IPAs. Mm-hmm. It's just, mm-hmm. it's up there with the, some of the, like the American stuff or the American collab mm-hmm. brewed stuff that I've had from the likes of Other Half, Finback, Treehouse. And it's just absolutely fantastic. This current batch that they did is just an absolute winner. That's just so good. Highly recommended. I've tried some Frau Gruber for sure. <coughs> mm. I've yeah, not tried it. I picked up a myself. sour today as well. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. Hope it's a uh, Imperial sour. I've got one of them next week. Ooh. <laughs> it's, sure. a, it's a one for oh, yeah, wolf hearted. This might be a nice. Oh, wow. Is that the. Oh, the. Uh, this is beer the, the, itself uh, has the hops and the body, which oh, is yeah. something you don't always find. Yeah. I, I think when it comes to the UK breweries, I'd say maybe three out of ten times the body's just lacking, but the hop utilization is spot on. And I think that's where we're at in the UK. And this is like the best of both worlds. It's wonderful stuff. There we go. Hop yeah. utilization. Premium concern the modern yeah, UK trap beer industry. Premium. You big fancy bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Who's up next? Uh, what are we on? Overseas? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll go for it. Why is that being asked twice, by the way? What? Why is, what why, why is this question being asked twice? What category are we on? Because I'm it's drinking... quite clearly I'm, I'm drinking, overseas yeah. breweries. It's either overseas... Because nobody's paying or, any attention, you set of cunts. I don't know whether it's overseas <laughs> beer or overseas brewery. What the fuck have I come into? You said <laughs> Frau right, Gruber, you, sure. you foreign bastard. Fuck off back to Germany. <laughs> Fucking... Terrible. Terrible. Germany is overseas. We, we vote, we vote Brexit. Brexit. We vote Brexit. So fuck off back to Germany. Anyway, Brexit means Brexit. And um, yeah, I think this is forever stained the good beer life. Yeah, you're not coming That's on again. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> but not really. Um, we want you on. <laughs> okay, now well, it's all starting already. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Craig's over there looking like uh, Brad Pitt from Snatch. Uh, <laughs> Harry's getting, going on Michael Farage on us. <laughs> I wouldn't mind what's going it. on. What's open, what's um, oh, come on, Craig, don't. He <laughs> wants a bit of tasting, Mitch. That's 50% of have... our audience you're offended now. No, I no, just fifty. Um, <laughs> or five of them. Three. Um, yeah. Overseas. Always remember. Always, always remember that question. Jesus. Yeah, that's what that's why it popped into my head. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> overseas, overseas beer has to be for me. Overseas, but yeah. Beer. 
has to be Jeez. for me one that um, Peter uh, and Peter and, and Dean and I had not <clears> long ago. This is one that's a close kind of second or third. Was Angel Cake from Hopping Frog? It was just <laughs> it was yes. just ridiculous. It was like it, it so it was Angel Cake. So it's like a cheesecake. It was basically like cake double IPA. <laughs> it was silly. Yeah. It just tasted like actually just tasted like cake. It was so sweet and sugary. It was it was completely different to any other beer <clears throat> I've ever had. It was just so sweet, sugary, synthetic as fuck. But it was just one of the weirdest. If it if it was just like it's just it's just not a beer. It's not a beer. It's so synthetic. It was so ridiculous, um, but so nice at the same time. Um, yeah, that has to be a close second against the grain. I had their seventy k wood barrel aged one um, on a bottle share before House of God, um, which Rob knows about. Um, that Maya may have kind of leaned towards why I was so hammered at House of God. Um, I was given a third of a bottle of that um, when I was at Cork and Cage, and that was so so good. Um, it was barrel aged, but just so smooth at the same time. Um, but I think other half triple miler daydream has to be the, the best for me. I, I have had the oh, another good. one of the another one of the daydream series. I have had the daydream <laughs> the other day, which was so good, but it was only like two and a half weeks old. I thought it was just a little bit too fresh. Um, but triple miler, miler, I had it twice uh, this year, I had it in August, September, it was both times, absolutely banging. Um, so yeah, that has to be the best beer for me. Uh, overseas, well, overseas beer for me. Um, by the half, they, they've just been smashing it out as well for the year for me. Yeah, I just had a worryingly large amount of other half this year as well, but um, but yeah, they have been really, really good. Yeah, mm. other half. So, Mickey O'Neill, what are you going for? Yeah, that, that was a beautiful beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no one got that. <laughs> No, I did. I did. Uh, yeah. Mickey O'Neill. <laughs> First of all, uh, um, go fuck yourself. This test is still test with T H scores. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. First of all, hi Thomas McCarthy. How are you doing? Have you having a good yeah. night? <laughs> um, hi Tom. Mon- monkish, uh, bonita, 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 triple IPA, ten point one percent. Sesh nail. Yeah. It was, it blew me away that it was 10.1 and it, it was just drinking like a, a session IPA, a hazy session IPA type thing, but bags of flavour. It was just unbelievable. Um, obviously, I would never have got to try it if it wasn't for an Instagram thing that I've very fortunately won. Because um, at the time, no, no one kind of knew who this guy was and it was open up. He split it for one overseas prize and one um, American prize. He was going to do it all in one, but then he split it. But then I think like a handful of UK people entered. And as soon as that happened, the next one he done, there was like literally hundreds. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a double dry hot. Uh, I've got the notes here. Uh, with El Dorado Galaxy as it's well. It's a big so, beer, that one. So, right? was- yeah, ten point one. Yeah, it's a triple IPA. Yeah, um, but I, I that, that's the best. Tri- it's the best triple IPA I've ever had. It by was very good. Like, there's not, I don't think there's anything come close to it. Because I, I've always, I mean, I'd like to try some more triple IPAs on my behalf. Because I know that Joe rep goes on about them. He said they they were just absolutely amazing. Um, like, like yourself, Rob. But I, I think, is there any need for a triple IPA? Um, yeah. I think some. I think sometimes if they're brewed like that, then yes. Yeah, very there's much not, so. There, there's not many breweries in the UK that can do it like that. No, there's not many that can pull it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. I, yeah. I, 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 I think that's the great. I yeah. think other half kind of excelling that kind of like. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. Oh yeah. Yeah. But if if, the, if Verdon and Bayer and the like can get to that level with their triple, like if they do triple IPAs, I don't think they mm. do even. 
but it's they no, did. Then... Cloudwater do a few, don't they? But, uh... just, just, just yeah, Cloudwater do some really Cla good Cla trick like Cla IPAs. Craig, yeah, what, not... what, whilst you mentioned uh, Verdon, <coughs> not wanting to take this off on too much of a tangent, but where have Verdon yeah. been the past year? I mean, I know where they've been, but like, where have they been in terms of yeah. their beers? Yeah, I've had yeah. some great uh, headband, headband this week, but um, yeah, yeah, that's true. I know what you mean. Yeah. This is, uh, they've, they've, they've lost like the sparkle, haven't they? They they had a few bad PR opportunities yeah. with like the exploding beers and everything like that, and then well, I just think quality's yeah. dipped a little bit. I've, I've, I've been talking to get really same yeah. for me. Yeah, with yeah. I, I, I was talking to a few people yeah. on Thursday. I went to uh, went to a tasting, and, I, and a lot of them get the the weekly releases and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I, I I mean I I don't get I don't drink Burden very often. I think yeah, last I one used was, to do it. Last one was at Indie Man. We had that Bud Lear thing or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. and that was amazing. That was beautiful. It doesn't have to be massive ABV. It just even like a normal IPA or a double dry pale or something like yeah. that. And I think that's where what I, kind of what I'm getting at with 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 Verdant and stuff. I think that's they do them amazingly well up there with the American guys. But triple IPAs, um, yeah. I just over here, I just don't think. Double IPAs, yeah, yeah, we're there, I think, with one or yeah. two breweries, like you said yeah. earlier. But triples... I don't like triple IPAs when they're in the West Coast style. Yeah. I think it's way too yeah, sick. You taste like ethanol well. when you have like a West mm -hmm. Coast yeah. triple. Well, big bitterness um, as well. I, I've got, I've got, I, I don't know. I've got memories of Knee Deep um, Sintra being an uh, absolute cracker. I've not had any, so... Yeah, it's only one. Yeah, it. I just yeah, remember yeah, hardcore, yeah, hardcore IPA. <laughs> I miss. Well, hardcore. there you go. If you're talking about FL, yeah, yeah hardcore it. IPA. Yeah. What about Mister President? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> <fuck off. laughs> well, even worse. It's an account. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> Harry, that <laughs> can of triple my Lade drink that you gave me, yeah. and I wasn't the freshest, yeah. but that was. I would definitely agree with you. What you yeah. said on that—that that was just. I've got a really fun soft spot for New England style triple IPAs because I think it works beautifully well. Well, yeah. you had one with today, the, didn't you? The malt build the, and the body. Did you yeah. have a? It was a there? brew by numbers. Yeah, the um, and citrus a perfect hop for a triple IPA. I think. Yeah, just gonna grab a bit. Yeah. See that that, that kind of gave you. It wasn't the freshest. It was about three or four months old, but it wasn't the freshest. But it was still. It, so good. I, I had uh, yeah, it was I, I had, a, had a couple of triple IPAs this week, both from other half again, and they were both just they were you know, two weeks old, but they were both just ridiculous. Like even after two weeks, like another one of the beers I've had from them, which come this most recent batch, it was definitely like underripe, uh, sorry, overripe mango, and you know it was a little bit, it felt a little bit young. But but that triple miler was just definitely one of the beers of the year for me. I, I'd say it was the beer, yeah. beer of the year for me overseas. Mm. But, but they've been so close with with two of the ones which I've had from the other half as well. They, they, they've been so good. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. completely agree. Um, so, what shall we go on to next? So, we've done we've, you know, best overseas beer, we've done best small pack beer. The best, I think, let's go to best. When we go, and this is UK, we're going back. You don't have to be UK if you don't want it to be, but I'm my, mine's kind of UK mainly because that's what I drink. So, best keg stroke cask. I'm gonna go, I'll go first. Uh, mine's Dea, invoice me for the microphone. Yeah, um, it's been I've had I've had multiple times. Um, mm. Had it when we visited in uh, in February, and it, uh, it kind of uh, kind of knocked all our socks socks as collective yeah. socks. Like, <laughs> collective um, socks. Um, multiple um, pairs. It's the video that the most ridiculous <laughs> video as well on Simon's channel, where we're like it was like eight oh, of us in on, in on it and stuff. <laughs> collective socks. Um, <laughs> and but collective no, socks brewery. double IPA. <laughs> name. Sweaty and dank. <laughs> well, quite. Um, but yeah, it's a bit I've had kind of multiple times and really kind of enjoyed. They should collect about. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
very good, Peter. I've got a, a stop and take moment for the, how perfect that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been over multiple times. I thought it's absolutely spot on. I think it, for me, it's besides steady. I think it's, that's when I think of um, day at the best. I think that's often the beer that I think of. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'd have to agree with you, um, Rob, because that's my second. My second choice was uh, very close to that as well. So that was my, my, my main choice. That day when we had it, it was ridiculously good. And then a couple of weeks after, I went and bought a couple more cans of it. And um, oh, which one? Of invoice me from invoice me to the microphone from uh, Daya. Um, but that was just so so good. That 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 batch of it as well that we got to try was just so, so good. Because I know Steady can be a little bit up and down, and same with Invoice Me can be a little bit up and down, but that batch that we had was so, so good. And it, when I say up and down, it's like, it's up and down, but it's still, you know, I'd smash it easily. Not like where Brewdog, for example, Punk can be up and down. It can be okay or... Okay, I'll have Absolute to... Absolute dog shit. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, okay I'll, it's nice, yeah. but okay, I'll have to drink it. Sort of thing, and and but day is like it can be ridiculous with, with SRM or or um invoice me as well, it can be just ridiculous or like still absolutely banging for sure. But no, that's it's like it's such a good beer as well, such a good beer for me for sure. Was that your was that your go, Harry? Uh, or do you have a number one? I, I do have a number one, uh, which I What's suppose number one? Best wrong to, which is deep seeded for uh, deep seeded RB from Glasshouse. Now oh, they've done God. multiple different variations of this, and it was like a sour IPA. And this this what summer was like the summer of sour IPAs. It just went fucking crazy for some bizarre reason. Everyone, all the supermarkets thought everyone wanted sour IPAs, um, <laughs> not all the time, um, but yeah. Glasshouse, they did. They've done three different of, of what I've seen. Three different deep seeded ones. So they did deep seeded RB, which is uh, raspberry and black currant. Then they did um, red currant. Sorry, raspberry, black currant, and red currant. And then now they've just done the black currant version, um, which I tried earlier on today. But I have to say that deep seeded raspberry and black currant was honestly my favourite keg beer of the year. It's one of those beers that. You know, you, you've just come off for a day of work. You can have a pint of it happily. Um, it's, it's dirt cheap as well. It's only like four quid, four fifty tops for a pint of it. Um, you can have it. You know, have it straight after work. Have it during work if you're that way inclined. Um, you can have it. You know, as, as like an alternative to squash. Um, <laughs> you can give it to your children. <laughs> you like it too. Um, it's just so sweet. And then a nice little bit of tartness. It's just so nice and refreshing. It was perfect for the summer. And it's one of those beers as well that's perfect for, for the winter because I tend to find with sour IPOs, you don't really want them as much nowadays this time of year. But that, for me, was just so, so good. And I've, I've, I enjoyed one today. As I say, the black currant version today. But the the the, the, the RBR, which was the red currant, um, black currant, and uh, raspberry, that was had that little bit of extra tart and sharpness on the back end uh, from the red current, but the, the raspberry and back current was just perfectly, perfectly balanced. Um, definitely well designed for the kind of August, summer, late, late summer months. Perfect for it. Cool. Well, and they did multiple fruited versions, did they? Yeah. So they, 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 they done the, um, Red, uh, the raspberry and black currant. Then they did the red currant, uh, raspberry and black currant. So deep seeded is is uh, basically also a rip off of some streets lyric because obviously the streets are from Birmingham as well. Yeah. Uh, so they did um, deep seeded urban decay is one of their lyrics in one of their songs. I can't remember which song it is. And they just went deep seeded and then RB. <coughs> it's all just seeded fruit, which I also kind of like the cleverness within the name of it. Yeah. Very smart men. <laughs> smart men with excellent brewing skills. 
<laughs> brew the perfect ales. Perfect. And they, cask, they, had, they had cask on today as well in Glass yeah. House, which for the first time, which was so good as well. One of one of the old brewers from um, who used to be at uh, Brew House before I was. He was working out in Hong Kong before as well, and also worked at Holden's, I think. Um, down, uh, he just they've just got done the collab. He does a lot of food for them as well. He's a chef as well, and he's done just this ridiculous collab, ridiculous murky session IPA on cask poured through a nice tight sparkler 4.6% absolutely smashable oh, yes. it's just oh, best cask I've had of the year for sure that one today which should be a category but it's not well this was big best keg slash cask so you can chuck it in there it, it's, it's very close a very yeah. close second well my, my best keg was going to be Invoice me for the microphone, <laughs> so I'll I'll, pick, I'll I'll go with my, I'll go with my second, no, and that no, was you can do it. I don't well, know. well, we're we're, we're speaking about, it. but my my second was actually going to be a beer I had today, uh, which was uh, Neon Raptors Centaur Arm, yeah. and like, I mean Neon Raptor is they're one of those breweries that's sort of like, mm, and the, like I don't seek them out or anything, but like I was buying some beers, and I just asked the guy, I said, oh, what have you got on, what have you got on cake today? And he goes, oh, we've got um. The Centaur Army from Neon Raptors, they're they're Such hundred of guile. Um uh and it's like ridiculous what's in it. It's like what is it? It's peanut butter, chocolate, and caramel imperial stout, fourteen percent. Session ale. Like, yeah. Premium South, craft session ale. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was just perfectly <laughs> drinkable as well. There was no harshness whatsoever. You would mm. never have guessed it was fourteen percent. It was it, it was like it wasn't like the thickest body. But it wasn't it wasn't thin either. It was just, it was just pleasant, and and, and the fla- and the flavors really came through. Yeah, it actually tasted like peanut butter, which a lot of times a peanut butter beer doesn't actually taste of peanut butter. Um, Sounds amazing. Yeah, and fourteen percent, and oh god, it was it was really good. It's like stuck to the glass. So ne- Neon Raptor went up a little bit in my estimation. <laughs> Not that I thought they were bad to begin with, but it's just a it's just a brewery that sort of passed me by, sort of thing. I think I honestly think yeah. that Neon Raptor for a lot of people probably passed them by. Like because they're local to me, I like, hate the name. The name annoys me for some reason. I don't know why. Just like, <laughs> hey, we're we're like trying to be out there, but yeah. we're kind of <laughs> shit at the same time. Drink our beer. That's what they sounded like when they when they first came out. Yeah, to me. And then they actually got a decent yeah. brewer on board, and then started brewing decent beer. And they've been a little bit hit and miss. I had their Rodmus and Remus uh, earlier on in the year, which was basically the same beer but with different yeasts or something like that achieving a double IPA and um, I had them both but they kind of mischarged me and undercharged me massively which I'm very happy for um, and <laughs> probably shouldn't say this but yeah I, I paid like no. three pounds for like <laughs> three pounds for six double IPAs um, and yeah it was really really good really 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 nice but like at the same time I never they, they're not for me, they're not down there like Vibrant Forest Star, which I still shouldn't say, but I will. Um, Vibrant Forest, me, like I've had one or two, re- one or two beers out of like twenty that have been good. But then, like with Neon, Neon Raptor, I've said that the vast majority of their beers have had been pretty decent. Some have been oxidized, which is definitely like you know downgrade them a little bit in my eyes. But yeah, the uh, Centaur job that that I had about a week ago. On draft, that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was it was seriously good. I thought about having another, and I thought, oh, probably not. <laughs> so uh, I went well, on to Augusta. <laughs> well, well, they're, 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 start, they're, start, they're starting to get down here quite a bit, actually. Neon Raptor um, mm-hmm. on, dra- on draft and Cairns, which is hmm. you know, for where I live, the eastern end of Kent, it's like, wow, really? Um, yeah, I think it's all probably stemmed from this um, Aaron, Aaron generation, generation craft. Sort of thing that yeah, didn't in... they do like a collab with like Butilias and stuff? Didn't they? I think. Yeah, they've done one or two things, but they, they were at the festival in deal in August. Um, and so I think they've expanded, they're, they're pumping a few more beers down this way, probably yeah. because of that. Yeah, um, thing not in them down to like East yeah. Kent is like it's a bit of a mission when there's other places they can go exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but that, um, that 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 center army that I had today has had 236 check ins. Into untapped, it's a, it's a four point five five. Yes, that's, yeah. 
I mean, that's it's just like yeah. crazy nowadays, I think. That's very high, but then, yeah. Um, that's, that's the, it sounds awesome. Yeah. Now, I mean, because it's, like, I mean, it's, cause it's for, like 14%, and like the, the sort of style is, you think it could could put some people off, and the trouble with Untapped is people go, oh, I didn't like that. 0. Yeah, 0.5. Yeah. <laughs> huh. And it brings it down. Whereas, like, to have, to have sort of like a decent amount of check ins and be 4.55, that's, that's awesome. pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot. Is Peter in the basement, Rob, or is he? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just guessing. No, no, no. Thanks for prompting me. He's in the basement. <laughs> like, 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 like a fucking. You better West. be down there, Peter. <laughs> Stay Help. down there. I can't. Help. I can't Help. see. Yeah, I couldn't see down there, but. Stay down there. Like fucking Jesse Fritzel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't let Aubrey touch me again. <laughs> he likes his Germans. <laughs> he's Austrian uh, anyway. anyway. He, he was Austrian. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Austrian. Yeah. Close enough. He was. Racist. Anyway. <laughs> there you are. Here's what it is. Right, who, who's, who's, who's up next on the best keg <laughs> category? Who's, a, who's been yeah. so far? Have we done everybody Prince yet? Him? No, I don't, think, I don't um, think Craig and Peter are gone. I've not done. Um, I've got both my keg and cask. He has it. So, so. Yeah. Go on, Peter. Go on. I've done it. <laughs> I've got it here, and I'm going to do it. Go and so, do it. <laughs> my cask is a head-to-head between the um, Narzabir Nitro from Cloudwater or the Grubby Bastard from Torside. Oh. Grubby bastard. <laughs> now, <coughs> grubby bastard. Very, I had this very, afternoon, very, and it's uh, very, very apt. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Grubby, grubby uh, which was a, a collab between Torside and Grub Manchester, and it was a smoked chocolate porter, which was delicious. It was like chocolate milk with a little bit of like a peated smoke character. But I think it's got to be when I was with Rob after he'd been to Charlton that we went back to Cloudwater. And they had a nitro version of the um, Narsabia yeah. coffee porter. Yeah, that was And that was just so divine. Um, as someone who is like, Common Grounds is like one of my all time favorite beers. And it was like that, but just amplified. A bit more, yeah. And it was just. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think my best my best keg was also when I was uh, with Rob and we were in Leeds and they had um, the North <laughs> the uh, North and um, North and I forgot the name other half double IPA which I just thought was I absolutely love that. And I only got, I only tried it once, and I can't believe I only tried it once. I thought that was really, really good. Yeah, the cracker from track actually. Uh, when we were in Manchester recently, collab with Magnify. Um, that was fucking incredible. Yeah. The most oh, coconut the, um, you can ever eat. I've seen, I've seen cans of it. Oh. Was that the Imperial yeah. Stout? Yeah, no, it's seriously yeah. good stuff. I took a took a can down for Harry and Dean to share, and I've got a can for myself. And from the taster that I had, I'm so looking forward to drinking that on Christmas Day. There's just something really festive yeah. about coconut. that, even though it's coconut. But yeah. <laughs> mm. No, it's seriously good stuff. Really good. You're up, Craig. What's your best keg? <laughs> cool. cool. So I was just I was just I'll chime in. Um, <laughs> it, <'cause, laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm the only person who I've ever come across who's been able to use background noise from someone else. Yeah. It's a little bit um, of a joke. That was that's yeah. probably up there on, in the best on, pun. I know the character is going to come up soon. Yeah. Craig's best pun, twenty nineteen. There, that you did it. <laughs> yeah. on, uh, best Craigism, yeah. two thousand nineteen. <laughs> so, so best. It's just him. 
best keg or draft or whatever you want to call it um, from Om Apollo. And it was their Aeon Freeze Dry Blueberry Marzipan Float. Uh, I had it at, um, was in June. I had it at the uh, Cave Direct 40th birthday in good company. Um, I had a tap room and it was just... It, 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 was, it, was, it was really pricey as you would expect because it's just one of them bonkers beers. I, I never kind of go for these crazy sort of things when I've been at festivals, when I was at Indie Man or when I was at, um, on the Craft Beer Fest. So I, think, I, think, I couldn't be bothered with all that. Um, <coughs> Apollo weren't actually at London, but then there were. A, I wasn't that fussed. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I'd try. There was no one in the queue. I was like, yeah, go on. What the, what, what the hay? And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. It was just um, it was eleven percent, and you just it's just like a you know one of these kind of amazing kind of ice cream type things that you you know you just crack open and bang. It's just one of them beers. It's just. Uh, I mean, adjunct city, but who cares? It was lush. Mm. It was just really, damn, really damn good. Um, kind of blew me away. Um, and they, 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 there could have been lots of other things, but that yeah. one. Did, they, really did they stick ice cream in it then, Craig? Was it one of those ones? Or no, it wasn't. It wasn't one of that. It wasn't a crazy. I mean, it was just. It was just more of a kind of a. I don't know how they'd done it, but it wasn't like like some of the photos you see on my Instagram or whatever. It wasn't crazy like that with a bloody mm. cake on top of it kind of thing. But it was... I don't know, it's just very... It's just creamy. The head was just creamy the way they'd done it. It was just it really kind of puffy, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, just like ultra sweet and just well balanced as well with that sweetness. It was just, just amazing. Um, really good. Um Best cask um, in September. I went to it was actually my local brewery. Um, I had Dog Bolter on cask out there. New Dog Tapper. Bolter, fucking hell! Yeah, what an ale! Bloody hell, Dog Bolter! Man, Dog Bolter! Who's that? Brewed, who's that brewed by? It's uh, Eddie. We're coming to cask uh, now. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. Now you try, man. <laughs> See, I remember. I remember. Well, That's a classic. Yeah, when, um, back, in the, the, back in the Firkin days, uh, yeah. I do remember going in uh, the, oh, the no, Firkin pub in Wakefield, and yeah. that was the that was the big beer was Dog Baller. Yeah, yeah, and that's why mm. and Eddie Gad was a, a, a Firkin brewer. Yeah, he's one of one of the pioneers, really, mm. back in the early two thousands. Um, Probably he, he, had yeah, his, yeah. Well, he, well, he actually, I think he trained at, uh, I think he was in De Mollen in, in the Netherlands before he set up his own brewery in my hometown. And then he went to, um, he set up in the, uh, the Bel what's the Belgian bar uh, in Ramsgate. He, he, he set up at the back of, oh, of really? that bar. I remember you do, doing a video from that. Up. Yeah, as a while back, but, but, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you've been up all night. Was that that like was the a, pigeon video? Yeah, it was a great video. Pigeon video. Great I think video. it was the pigeon video. Yeah. A cult classic. Absolutely cult classic. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Was bad. Bad. Um, <laughs> uh, it was bad, but but yeah, I, I was. <laughs> it wasn't. It was great. I think Craig about like, 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 a great, great hour, like um, live chat with all Canadians. Yeah, and you, you went to the Belgian bar for breakfast, didn't you? Yeah. You, you were walking for breakfast. I, 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 it was getting, it was in the I'm spring, going down the Belgian calf. Went down it's the Belgian calf at now. seven o'clock. I don't know. I've been up all night. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to do that. I don't know. I don't know vlog. I wish I, wish I was a pigeon. I, <laughs> yeah. One day I will be a pigeon again. <laughs> yeah. My name I is Mark O'Kane, and I what? wish I was a pigeon. My name I is Craig Samuels, and I want to I be a them. pigeon. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> um, so, 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 yeah, I mean, uh, so, yeah, Dog, Dog Bolt was my best cask. It was, uh, Dog Bolt. It was awesome. It was brilliant. It was, it was the best I've ever I've had that in the hometown and up there before. But mm. for some reason, that one I had was just, wow, this is... 
really damn good. <coughs> well, I've had some real good casts this year because I moved south. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, there's no, there's no, no cask in the Midlands. Yeah, yeah but because it's, it's all up north, that's why. <laughs> yeah, well, don't take it up Everyone north. Everyone knows Cascade is yeah. better in the north. I've had, uh, yeah, but you moved down south, so... <laughs> I, I had a lovely you moved pint down. of... Uh, I had a lovely pint of Timmy Taylor's down south. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hips off in... Gorgeous, oh, God. and I honestly know there's su- such a I hipster wonder, vibe behind it. Here, I didn't realize it. <laughs> such a hipster vibe behind it, but it's just like I had it and I was like, I've had it bad so many times. Oh, I thought, it can just, be absolutely shocking, yeah. It let's, can be awful. It just, let, let's just give it a go, see what it's like. And I was like, actually, it's so yeah. smashable. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I had it in um, Robin Hood's Bay, which is a weird little kind of like, um, Robin Hood's Bay. Kind of like, you know, Robin Hood's Bay, don't you? Um, east little weird little east coast kind of like fishing kind of like resort near yeah, Scarborough kind of like thing resort. and and <laughs> just in uh, I, I kind of like uh, yeah I kind of like um, dis- uh, disappeared for an hour and I sat in this place and it was a baking hot day it was like sunburnt and stuff and it's perfectly kept it was perfectly served they could have been turning it over and it was it was spot on yeah you can't follow, follow it, but I mean that's that's the um, the enemy of Cascale, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If it, if it's a Saturday afternoon and it's a baking hot day and people are like banging through that cask, it will be an absolute delight. But it's been sat there for three days. It's going to be I, th- I think it, diabolical. And, <laughs> and, 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 unless you know, unless you know the place very well and know that how the place turns over ale, then don't that's really great. necessarily bother with cask ale during the week because. Yeah. So many places, they'll put their ales on a Thursday night. In terms of those places, they'll t- they'll put their ales on a Thursday night, knowing they'll get smashed around on a Friday, smashed around on a Saturday. But like my, my local seems to be pissed in there every single night, so it's you know you, you're fine. You um, go in there every night. Or... <laughs> I got well, well, it's, I well. I I know I used to go, I, I normally go there Monday, Friday, and Saturday. If I if I'm down on a if I'm down there on Saturday, uh, then I'll go down there for yeah. several because it's half price, half yeah, price sales. A pint of Timmy Taylor's for one pound fifty. Yes, please. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I remember having a Timmy Taylor's about what, three years ago, and that's that tells you straight away that it was all obviously awesome. And I yeah. the month about five minutes walk. I still remember how amazingly good it was. It was like yeah. wow. This um, doesn't compare. It, it, it says a lot. They, they, they don't come down here at all. They are very rare. You just don't see them down down down, 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 down down my way anyway. I've seen it two or three times down this way ever in the last yeah. like ten years. We, we got we got some John Prescott ales. Prescott ales came down. John Prescott ales. They came down, and we had some of theirs, which is from Cheltenham, Northern Beer. Has John that got a punch? Has, yeah. that got, has, yeah. that got a punch? has that got a punch to it? Or? No, it's just... <laughs> it's actually just... Eggy. <laughs> probably went off very quickly. That was awesome. I know, I know. He's a punchy man. It was <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> oh, days. Yeah. There you go. There you go. What's, what's yeah. next? What's next? What's next? Before we descend... We go, we're going to go next category. <laughs> yeah. Right. With our best bottle small pack, with our best cask keg, the best overseas beer. I think it's natural to go and um, best overseas brewery. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna start this because Peter's not here, and, and it's it's partially because of um, what what's been available to me this year, and um, obviously um, influence. By the um, best overseas beer now. I'm going to go Trillium. Um, uh, I've got a bunch of mates who've done a bit of trading mm-hmm. and they've been very generous enough to like share some stuff. Um, and it's all been really good stuff. It's, I mean, some of it I've had before, like kind of vicinity and metal and things like that. Um, and Congress Street, and but they've also had opp- opportunity to have some sours. Um, I mean, I'd love to have all these kind of wonderful. I've only ever had one of their like dessert stouts. I had the tiramisu, which was incredible. <coughs> but uh, I'd love to have more of them. But 
Yeah, for me, they kind of personify um, the kind of justified hype in American beer. Um, and I don't think a lot of those American breweries kind of deserve that kind of deserve that hype. But I think uh, I think truly, they're kind of like there's something masterful yeah. about what they produce. Um, so that's why I'm going for those guys. Well, Rob, did you get a lot of hype as well from Hudson Valley? Did you get to try any of their stuff? Uh, no. I've only had, no. I had the um, Hop City over here, that's it. See, I, I got there was loads of hype behind them. Mm. I got to try some back in uh, I think March, April time. I was offered some, didn't bring any in after trying them because they just, I think it was like a sour fucking farmhouse or it was like farmhouse sour, style. They do sour IPAs, that's their kind of thing. It was, yeah, it, that, that's what it was. It was just like, we can get this over here. Was was when it, when it was te- when I was trying them it was like they're good but I don't want to pay the money for them because what they were they were con- going to come in at like you know I think eleven pounds or nine to eleven pounds per can and I was like oh, well they're not worth it for for that sort of you know that sort of price I know I, 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 they were good but at the same time I thought the same quality in sour IPA you could get it about six pound five, six pound for, for the same sort of quality in a can for a husband valley. Yeah. Style-wise, it's not going to be something that's going to gonna like get my juices jangling all that much. Yeah. So, um... I, I, I just thought, for me, they won those breweries I, I was watching out for for this year. I thought they were going to be really, really good, and then they just yeah. weren't. Sour IPA is not a style I go for. In particular, I, I I'll enjoy what I have and stuff if the good good examples, but mm. yeah, I guess that's but that's the whole thing with like the overseas. For me, is uh, I, I just don't feel the need to kind of like seek stuff out. And um, I mean the trillium stuff that um, uh, I've had, there were, somebody else had like sorted out the deal, or it was like like a gift or something like that. So it wasn't mm. something we were fucking. Oh, I, I thought we got like a close up of Peter's. Groin. Like a chicken, then. It's very disturbing. Not his leg. <laughs> no. Show me that. Not live. <laughs> and, uh, Patreon only. Go to my OnlyFans page. <laughs> fans only. Jesus Christ. Um, there yeah, is a no, clueless no, drinker only fans, but I've not uploaded so, anything. So I guess <laughs> that, that's why th- th- they've kind of appealed to me in that sense, but um, yeah. I, I, I struggle to keep up with like a small percentage of what's coming out of the UK, and and even from those breweries that I really really like. So I, I just I, I kind of don't feel the need mm. to trade or make such an effort to get older. <laughs> it's stuff. good fun because you make money. <laughs> well, if that's <laughs> if, it, if it, well if it pans out, I think for a lot of people it just costs them a lot of money. Really, it does cost and a lot you, of money, and you too. can get yeah. something comparable for. Um, significantly less. Yeah. Well, I, I do it because for me it's like once in a while you get to try, try. I mean, out of every 24 pack that I bring in to the UK, I, I always take four because I know I can I can happily break even um, taking four out for out the mix. And the rest of them I'll, I'll shift off to other people. But like out of the four pack that I've taken recently, They've been really, really good. When I was taking mixes in, from I, I wish I could take some more, like I used to. When I was taking like other stuff other than just other half, because at the moment it's just other half. When I was taking in like Treehouse Trillium, it was good fun. Um, yeah. It was it was real good, but at the moment it's just other half, and yeah, it's good. But like I, I know what I like from other half. Uh, I know what they do well. But um, weirdly, I think other half do very well in their in their real strong stuff, and they do really well in their in their sour fruited stuff, or some of the, yeah. some of their fruited stuff. But I know it doesn't sell very well, so it's just you know I just like pick shit. You no, know, doesn't do well. Don't care. Fucking put up with it, cunts. <laughs> you know you'll like this one day when your tastes fucking evolve. You fucking cunts. 
<laughs> That's good sales pattern, right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As you can tell, I'm, I'm so yeah. If you I'm want to be judged person. by Harry, yeah, get in touch. Yeah, yeah. Fucking shit, bastard. On his OnlyFans page, that is just so. Yeah, I actually set that up where he make... will berate you live. Yeah. Some people will be up subscribe for, that. for five pounds a month. Yeah. It is www.onlyfans forward slash Clueless Drinker. <laughs> Say what you really mean, Harry. Which does exist. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any comments, Rob? We do. Let's go. Let's, let's run through the comments. We've got yeah, trillion first actually. commenting. Bloody loads of them. <laughs> so we've got Kent Beer Review says, <laughs> he's pissing around. Um, but yeah, Tilly1997. I hope oh. that's not your age because that'll make me feel very old. <laughs> So the Curl Brewery are the best. And then he goes on to say, Curl start this thing and they will end it. Stu C says, good evening, gents. Just on Verdant Pale Ale, Mary Lou. People love Mary Lou. I'm a bit indifferent to Mary Lou. I'm a, I'm a headbang guy. I liked it, I liked it on, uh, on Draft. I had it once with you, I think, Some a couple of years ago. I'm mental for Mary Lou. I, really I, I thought it was great. I've never had it in a can. And then Shane says, uh, sounds like a soft serve. I had a few from Only Pollo. Um, yeah. A little pink ice cream van in Copenhagen. Beautiful. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. And, it, was, um, it was soft serve, yeah. Then back to Tilly1997 says, the, the real ale snobbery. <laughs> I don't know, that's a reference. Rale. Rale. I think it's was Timothy Taylor. I agree. Nice right now. Yeah, cool. I agree. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a lovely Cascale. There's Buxton Spa. Fine uh, Cascale. In the camera, then in camera, then in my, the uh, then my lovely friend Mark Kelly. Hey, right, Mark. How you doing, mate? Hey, Mark. How are you doing? How, How are you doing? doing? Hey, Mark. Are you from fucking Scales? You from no, me? no. He's, he's, he's from Ireland. Uh, he's he's <laughs> as from hey, Ireland. Hey, Mark. Hey, 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 hey. Shut up, you twat. Uh, <laughs> never had a UK brewing yeah. match. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the uh, latest yeah, 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 yeah. shirt, Mark. I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm reading comments now. Shut up. <laughs> never had a UK brewery match for Saint Valley's consistency at sour IPA. Uh, definitely well deserved hype, in my opinion. Mm. Mike, uh, sorry, Mark is a very much a hype, um, uh, uh, like a hype um, seeking yeah. hype beast. <laughs> He's like um, he's like the supreme of uh, beer lovers. <laughs> he is supreme. Um, then yeah, Tilly 1997 says better uh, when Colin better though when Colin brewed it. Yeah, you're probably right. Colin's a very a very good brewer. And Danny Kane says I'll do it. Uh, that's nice for that um, uh, <laughs> forgotten oh, internet um, entity. Um, <laughs> Mark says scouts question mark <laughs> Jesus wept there you go yeah, it was brilliant it was funny no Mark Mark's a lovely lovely man cool beans so are we on to the next category then no I think, no, I think only you've answered Rob <laughs> no it's it just me who's answered I'm on yeah I'm done on yeah I usually yeah, stick the... mine in early on yeah what's the category again what the category again Best over, best over <laughs> no, I did. That's a brilliant. No, I, no, no I, you're, I, yeah, I yeah, you're the only one who's answered. I think none of us have. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. Go on, crack on. Yeah. Go. Well, let 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 uh, let Har- let Harry go because I think I know who's his will be. Do you? Yeah. Do you really? It's really? Either, so second... mine might be the same as Harry's. <laughs> so second overseas brewery has to be the brewery. Because they invented brewing. Don't say second. Um, <laughs> they invented... so the one be tonight. So we're doing first out. Okay. I've, I, I've had um, obviously this tonight, and then I had a peanut butter and jelly fucking imperial stout, which wasn't an imperial stout; it was more like a brown ale, which was just badly represented, but so nice. Um, and just a couple of other cans and shit that I've had from them, they've got to be really high up there, but definitely has to be other half as my top rated uh, overseas yeah. brewery. I've just had so many 
cans of theirs from uh, this year, and they just been, you know, Trillium for sure are pretty good, but in terms of ease of getting hold of them and the quality of all from them across the styles, definitely the other half. Um, <coughs> Trillium, I can I can get a lot of you know double IPAs and imperial IPAs and one or two sours, but they're just not quite there. But definitely other half has to be my my favourite, my best of the year for sure. Mm. Spoken like a true Instagram. Uh, I'll do mine next because it's really sorry, one. sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you want to get my thick legs out in a minute? Well, my my, my answer is going to be worse because I'm in full agreement with Harry, and I've only had one other half beer like solely brewed by other half, but the collaborations I've had where other half have been included. I've thought of being fantastic. So that's that's my answer. <clears throat> and I hate myself for that answer. But... Let's go. We, we can slit our wrists and, and I hate myself that most of my answers have had to do with hazy pale ales and IPAs. Is that because your thoughts but towards the, you know, the... Um, sexuality is, is hazy after your most recent post on Facebook? <laughs> Jesus. I went there. I have no idea what that's a reference to. <laughs> <laughs> no, legitimately, I don't know what I'll put that in a reference to. Okay, cool. But by the way, really disappointed with this Cloudwater IPA <laughs> because it's not hazy enough. <laughs> it, it's described as hazy, but it's not Sorry. hazy, and I remember. Cloudwater IPA, just like their general IPA, being a lot more flavoursome. Mm. There you go. Yeah, a weak batch. But yeah, over oh. half of my choice. Cool. I'm, I'm going. For, I'm going for. Uh, oh, thanks, Craig. I'm going to go for um, which. Okay, like th this year, for some reason, I haven't drunk much even like European beer. It's just all been, in, I think it's like Brexit. Brexit's been on my mind. So it's just, just British beer. But I only drink British beer, just British ales. But um, the, the, so the brewery I'm going to go for, purely because of like one afternoon I had in Norwich, uh, is, to, is too old for, for their, for their Mr. series this year. I thought it was a great wow. series of beer. I tried, tried all, however, however many it was, six or eight. The Mr. Brown was probably the best one out of the bunch. It was all that crazy Ooh, sort of like, like salted caramel, whatever the cookie dough mess, whatever it was. But um, yeah, and and if you did all six, you got a free glass, so it felt like a bit of a challenge as well, where you got a prize. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Uh, so two of surprisingly to me, because I mean I've drunk over half this year. I've had bits and bats, but uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Two old. Sorry. <laughs> Peter's just fucking clattering around. <laughs> well, 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 mine was the two that really stuck out uh, for me. Um, it's actually probably more of a direction where my pardon me, taste buds have been kind of like style wise this year. Um, I've been really getting into the sales and stuff like that and um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it was when I was at the uh, London Craft Beer Festival in June, June, August. Get it right, get it right month. Um, it was a good month. It, it was a it was a toss up between um, Owl Song and Cascade. So sours then, um, but yeah. F so the, f the the second best overseas then because I I can I had a little look just now and I was like yeah. Uh, is Ailsong song was second. Um, <coughs> I, I had three or four beers from them over a couple of uh, sessions at London Craft Beer Fest, and yeah, they were pretty damn good. And then Cascade was number one. Um, everyone's going. Yay. I'm not going. Um, I'm here. I just got the crap in my foot. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Hello. And then uh, yeah, so and then Cascade. I thought Cascade were. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, look, Craig enjoyed Cascade. It was 
There's evidence of it still on my floor. C- so. Craig did enjoy Cascade. Yeah. I, 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 well, yeah, more, more um, at um, like the Craft Beer Fest. Yeah. But, but yeah, uh, yeah a brunch line. Uh, brunch line, one way or another. Uh, Vitus Noble. I don't know what vintage that was. So. Yeah, so that's what I, that's off the top of my well, top of untapped, not my head. Exactly. Oh. But yeah, they they were all like four point five plus kind of beer. Imagine imagine having a headlight untapped, being able to remember everything. Yeah, yeah. But well, having error error screen every single time you try to fucking I, enter back into yeah, your head. I, I wouldn't be able to do this without an untapped. So there you go. Because memory like a sieve and untapped. And beers, uh, yeah, and, and beers uh, are not very uh, helpful for memory. <laughs> so uh, they, they do. Have, yeah. The more you well, have, well, the more you remember yeah. from that. Well, day. well, well. Yeah. If, a couple of weeks ago, you, I'm very envious of you. Then so, it does. But, but no. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah so I, I checked I in six that, beers this year. Uh, I thought Cascade were amazing. Busters. Carling. Yeah, they they they, they me I'm, I'm looking Shout forward to try, looking forward to trying some more of their beers next year. Hopefully, mm-hmm. they're around. Yeah. As but, Craig, as as we said, thousand beer a year has to happen. Well, we'll talk about that. Later. No, no, we won't. <laughs> it is happening. I I, I was. I don't born. know. I can't, I can't commit to it. So well, I am I'm so. Sure. You know, I'm not going to be do tasters count. No, no, <laughs> that's one thing that Craig and I agreed on the day when we were randomly talking about it. No, they don't. Fuck off. We <laughs> fucking tasters, they're just like shit pours. What, what, what's the what's the maximum pour then for it to count? Third, third, third. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a fine third. Because we you don't have to review it, you don't have to review it, surely. I'm not no, you do. doing a thousand you reviews. Do. Thousand reviews. That's <laughs> my well, I'm not that's, that's, that, that's, that's, that, that's Simon territory, right what, there. A thousand video reviews in the year, it's that's more than Simon territory. He does two a day, so that's that's like more, yeah. Like, but all you have to do is like go down your local spoons. Oh, there's like 17 beers there, then just drink them. You, you would and have then, to have at I'm least three thirds a day, you'd have to have three thirds a day to do it. I mean, alternatively, how like the thing is, we, we are through the rest of <laughs> Harry. Harry, we are getting off to- off topic anyway. We so are. But doesn't def- matter. What's the next? What's, what's, what's the next? What's the hot scene question then? Oh, have we all gone through that one then? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so we've done yeah. best pop, uh, best. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go to best festival. <coughs> Who, who wants to go first? Not me. I'll go first. Um, um, uh, so... Can I go first? I'll yeah, go, go first. On, Please do. Uh, <laughs> with you. Oh, all right, then. <coughs> uh, well, quick and easy. I don't think I've actually been to a beer festival this year, so... What is it? Brilliant. <laughs> That's helpful. Thank you. <laughs> You sure, you know, more of a piss up wasn't like a beer festival in terms of beers I had in the fridge. I uh, could have been a beer festival. Well, I, th- I think the Birmingham one it, that, with with, that, the, with with the bottle share. <laughs> yeah, that could have been a beer festival. <laughs> that was that yeah. was the, that could have been. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it was a festival of sort of homoerotic <laughs> thrusting. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, it was. So it's, it's, it's your definition of a festival, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's all you want in a festival. Yeah. It's like slightly scantily clad men dancing around to uh, whatever you know, we were listening to. <laughs> World of Peace and Chaka fucking Khan. Chaka Khan and, and 90s <laughs> England winning the World Cup music. And well, yeah. I remember the music. Because... Oh, I remember all the music. I was DJ yeah. most of the night. You were? You should do. I, I remember pulsating my groin upon your face. Some some sandstone. Drinking craft ale. Finest. Only the finest craft That's ale. Scary. So, Peter, you've been when to one. <laughs> 
who's, who's, next, who's next then? Who's next then? Come on. Um, thanks for your input, Peter. I say thanks. I don't mean it. Perfect. It's, Peter it, looks like, it's it frozen looks like, anyway. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like one of those screens when like you've had a nuclear fallout and he's like, it's okay. Time will be good again. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's refreshing, I guess. Yeah. Rob, so. Right. Go on then, Rob. You, you said you were not going to go first, so you are technically um, going first. I um, had a lot of friends and family. Um, it was obviously the, 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 the fucking madness and chaos that surrounded it was um, um, entertaining, especially as I was there on first day. <coughs> and it was great. And and I got a ni- I got a nice cheap ticket, uh, which is always nice. And um, but the quality of beer was incredible. Um, and it wasn't all, it wasn't just those hype breweries that because I think some kind of under under delivered in a lot of ways. Um, Trillium was poor to be honest. What they had on it wasn't really kind of sitting the hat uh, the pulse racing. Um, the uh, Hill Farmstead was pedestrian at best. I mean, it is what it is, but they could have fucking break, brought something a bit more interesting. Uh, but it, it was everything else that was really exciting. First beer I had in there was like uh, other half and only Polo Cola, which fifteen percent. It was amazing. The m- first time I did try Monkish, and they and they were ama- They were fantastic. Drinking Cellar Maker again. Yeah, the first time I was in um, San Francisco, and yeah. um, I, I really, really liked Cellar Maker. Got us. Got a pair of like gaudy sunglasses off them as well, which is always a winner. <laughs> So I like, like to give away a nice bit of free merch. Um, so uh, throughout the summer, I was wearing my it's, it's slightly iffy seller maker sunglasses, and um, and just loads more in between. There's like Jelly King from Bellwoods really kind of like um, made an impression on loads of people actually during that during that festival. Um, a style that I wouldn't normally get all that excited about, but that was absolutely staggering. They actually had a when we were in Cladwater a couple of weeks ago, um, during the Grimbo Crawl, they had um, a, a, a version of it. I didn't have it actually in the end. Um, I think it just, it just I think it might have just kicked. They had a raspberry version, but um, a great festival that you can you feel like you <coughs> wander around a bit as well, but also. Got us the the unfortunate kind of like got to get it all in. It's the it's a bit of a FOMO fest, so you've got to kind of like hit hit all the highlights um, as soon as they're on. If not, you might miss out. Uh, but it's a festival that I would definitely recommend people going to. I think mm. it's the currently the kind of the the pinnacle of kind of UK beer festivals as far as like selection goes. Um, so and worth every penny. Which festival? What was the festival? Sorry, Rob. Friends and family. I had a lot of friends oh. and family. Yeah, it was. It was. It was damn good. It was damn good, it, and it was good space. Um, I think that's one thing that as great as Hop City and Dark City and mm. very in, incarnations goes, um, the the venue is at odds with your enjoyment of the festival. Yeah. Because it's, it's not big enough and stuff, but I think yeah. Cladwater do a nice job of it. And I think their intentions are always good as well, guys at Cladwater. Not that they are enough month, but um so I think it just everything adds up to a good experience. Mm. So I mm. will probably go if I can afford it. Which is not yeah. not far away, so I think it's February. No. I like beer festivals that aren't in the fucking October. Yeah. Every fucking <laughs> All beer <at> once. Festival. <laughs> <laughs> September and October. What about you two? I think mine would be uh well it's it's probably a fifty fifty split for different reasons between LCBF and Indie Man. Um probably Indie Man slightly edged it because I enjoyed it more because I wasn't so fucked out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> um but I'm but I mean LCBF is just is like you said about like selection, it's just crazy like the amount of stuff yeah. that they had there um it's sort of it, it does yeah. it does help that it's yeah it does help that it's like an olden ticket so you so you can try more but it also led yeah. to my demise 
on that yeah. particular occasion. But um, but yeah, but it, and and they're the two biggest festivals I went to this year. So it's it's hard to choose between them. I liked them. I liked them both for different reasons. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're 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 very different festivals as well. Like the mm-hmm. the, the vibes completely different. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, could, yeah. I couldn't choose, but maybe, but yeah, maybe Indie Man slightly edged it for me. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the sort of venue that they have at Indie Man. Uh, I love to, I love to do Indie Man. Like, yeah, LCBF. Um, I'll, I'll just take the reins now. Um, two festivals I've been to. This year, being out, uh, being LCBF and uh, Swindon, Swindon, Swindon Beer Festival, Swindon, Swindon Beer Festival, um, which you know, may as well just not not mention that I've been to that one. It may as well just be because I, I've only been to two festivals, and I don't think the Swindon Beer Festival is a fair representation of a festival. Yeah, um, LCBF versus Swindon. Yeah, yeah. Swindon. <laughs> yeah. LCBF by default essentially um i'd love to do um so i i honestly weirdly miss doing the northern camera festivals because they were just so much better in terms of the quality of the beer they had on you know even even the ones that they had had a derby beer festival shit um so going even further north the ones i went to were like sheffield it was you know pretty decent range of beer and they actually embraced uh, embrace you know craft beer. Mm-hmm. It was the first time this year that Daya, uh, sorry that um, that um, Swindon Beer Festival actually you know wanted anything in, in the you know in the realms of having anything like Daya. But I said to them, let's let's try and take some Daya beer down, and they were like, no 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 no, we'll we'll take some local craft beer down. I was like okay, we'll take some local craft beer down, but make it some good stuff. And it was just like shitty fucking half-assed homebrew keg shite. Um, it, you know, I, I was hoping for something, you know, in, in the realms of Daya. And I thought, you know what, let's get some Daya stuff down there. It's not far up the road. And they were like, no, let's just get some, get some local beers. And it was so poor in the, in the way of, you know, craft beer. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do some north, northern breweries in terms of. In, oh, Pete, in Pete's there. in the basement, Rob. Pete's in the basement. Sorry, oh. Pete's down there. <laughs> Back minding, in the basement. Minding, <laughs> minding. I'm not Peter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know you better be. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to do. Weirdly, one of the festivals I'd love to do is Todd Morton. Beer festival, Todd Morden. Yeah, Todd Morden. What are you, the announcer on like a local train service? Yes, that's how Todd you pronounce Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd Morden. I'd love to. Why do you want to go to a beer festival in Todd Morden? Because of just scenery. I've seen on Stuart's, you know, count. Yeah, Todd Morden. I've, I've actually never been. I've only ever passed through on train to Manchester. It just the the scenery in the, in the videos looks great. And that's one of the big things I love is like, I'm weird. I like scenery and scenery in the pint. If if you sit outside a pub in the winter, um, I like scenery in a pint. Um, that just makes me cream myself. Um, <laughs> nice. And you should set up an Instagram page. Yeah, should they? Should they? Like you know, creaming in the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, creaming in the country. <laughs> Oh. Spaffing in the <laughs> suburbs. <laughs> That's my account. Yeah, I might do. Um, like what? What? What would kind of chase be? Would be like a fucking pure fucking. Oh, don't want to know. Anyway, but um, <coughs> yeah, no, I, I'd, I'd love to do. I, I'd love to do a, like a, a proper northern beer festival. That's one of my things for for next year. Is you've been to like Sheffield it. Beer Festival, are you? Yeah, but you know, doing but also doing you know something nice and crafty up there. That's not Hop City, where I get absolutely mm. fucking brutally annihilated one night and then just kind of, <laughs> kind of function the next. Yeah, well, well, well. yeah don't don't uh, let Jimmy say that. Brutally annihilated. Um, a couple of comments. Um, friends, friends, unset. So you're doing uh, beer of the decade. 
<laughs> not sure if I can remember that. <laughs> Far back. Um, Mark Allen says, um, had some I, lovely on the Apollo fuss earlier. Uh, maple, strawberry, blueberry, etc. Pancake madness. Uh, there's some Mills nonsense. Fuss in caps. Uh, yeah, I had, I had, I had some Hashtag kind of weird... Uh, multiple berry, blackberry, blah, 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 blah. It was like four different berries. We had a bit of a share last night. We, we shared one of them last night. Um... And then our, our lovely gorgeous Paul over at Pier B- uh, says, Show me a camera. Paul. He says, Cheers, brothers. For me, a third is like a taster. <laughs> it was a festival of stench. <laughs> <laughs> then Mark, uh, Matt Kelly says, uh, Deck and Wild was superb, superb this year. Chelsea was excellent, but friends and family, um, disorganized beer takes the gong. 2019. He says, Hop City needs more variety. I completely disagree, Mark. Um, Hop City doesn't need variety. That's the entire fucking point. Um, that's why I came up with the idea. I still don't have somebody in America. Um, this is the Vale Tef Nut at FFB Drool. See, I didn't like the, the two Vale beers I had at Friends and Family. I really didn't care for it at all. I thought they were really m- mediocre. <laughs> I think I went out of Verdant and I'm like, this is much better. Yeah, Vale yeah. fell massively shocked me. I think it's one of those breweries that I'm just never going to be that. I need a really good example to be convinced. That's everything I've had. I've just been a bit like, uh. we're doing that here, kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I think we do. Yeah, I think we do much better. Anyway, so so we've done best small pack. We've done best cast and keg. I, don't, I, don't, I think Craig, Craig's got to do festival. What was it? <coughs> yeah. Um, done, then we're on to the two big ones. Two, I've done two, well, I've done three, I think three festivals this year. One was a Channel One and Margate, the Winter Gardens, which was, to be honest with you, because I didn't go to Top City and stuff. So they held at the same time, the Easter weekend. Um, but it weren't that. Um, it for me, I, I I I had in mind, but then I was curious to see how Windy Man would go, which was very very good. Mm-hmm. I was very impressed. Very quirky, the, the whole kind of setup, and you know, drinking beer in uh, a swimming pool, empty swimming pools and stuff was pretty weird and amusing. Oh. I liked it. It's just really cool. And then you can just sit in like shower booths and stuff and just. Do beer reviews. Eat some crabs balls. <laughs> yeah, eat, 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 eat some crab bollocks and stuff like that. That's what her name was. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, a bit, a bit crusty, but they're, they're okay. They're really nice. Um, That's what I like. Yeah. <laughs> for me, uh, it, it, London Craft Beer Festival blew me away. Um, I was fortunate enough to do two sessions. I was only going to do the one and I was doing the one on the Saturday anyway. But then that week, um, I was like, "What the hell?" There's some when, friends when, opening on the Friday. When on the Friday, to... yeah. And then and they were going on the Friday. So I thought, "Why not?" I'm in London anyway, so I might as well just do another session. And it was just the whole venue, the uh, Tobacco Dock. It's just absolutely amazing. I think that's kind of what it's, it's the general uh, kind of feel of it. Um, mm. Then the beers on top of it. And the venue is amazing. I think they used about just over just over half of the venue. So there's actually another half part that they, they didn't even use. And it's big enough as it was. See, um, see I don't think I, I, I think they utilised the space they had, but I think yeah, they, they've had yeah. more space to it. Yeah, but then you don't want to be walking around. I mean Yeah, but it was just too like it was it was too mazy for me. It was like this Everything is why you need the same. Yeah, you only done why one am session. Why yeah. can't understand why this is a different brewery to what it used to be? I wasn't too hammered at either session. I, mean, that. I was. Yeah, well, but, but yeah, I, surprisingly, I, I mean, I drank quite a lot compared to another festival I went to where I got hammered. Um, so, but it was quite. Um, it was a great venue. It was a great festival, and. Um, I'm definitely wanting to. If I do one festival next year, it's going to be that one. <coughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try and go back to that one next year. Yeah, I've already pre- I've already pre-booked a hotel. 
for two nights. I will be going back to that festival. I'll, I'll 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 yeah, yeah, I really want to do a London Craft Beer Festival this year. Oh, yeah. it's, it blew me away. It really it just, it's probably one of the best festivals. I've not been to Copenhagen or blah, blah, blah. Um, but oh, I've don't blah, 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 Copenhagen. Yeah. No, but, but that will blow your socks off. In the, yeah. In a variety of that's what, ways. That's what I'm saying. I, I've never been, emotionally, so physically. I can only, yeah, I can only compare it to what I've actually done. And that's probably the best I've ever been to. So there you go. They've the, the, the been my two favourite videos that I've made this year. Is the Indie Man one and the LCBF one. They've been my yeah, yeah. They were good. Yeah. I like those. I want to do. I want. I want to do more vlogs next year. Yeah, uh, I like my big rig. I like uh, taking my big rig around. As soon as I get to um, these festivals, the last thing I want to do is start recording stuff. I just instantly think. I just want to enjoy myself and have a yeah. beer. That's why I just do more festivals than you'll hit the thousand beer. Yeah, yeah but so. it's not going to be reviewed. Be reviews. It's so, all so now. Well, I'm not in the big ones. The, the big two questions, um, which our are, we'll do we'll do them independently, but I'll, just, I'll set them both up. So, uh, best UK brewery, and also best beer. So the best beer can be kind of like. Over it can be international, it can be local, it can be British, whatever. Um, but I think these are the ones that are kind of like me most, I guess, to us all. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with best beer first. <coughs> does it inform the best brew? Probably it does. Um, I've and I've already said it has been best, um, my, my first answer, which is pressure drop, understanding health systems. That was my um beer of the year. I mean, there's a bunch of others, but you mean, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 with brewery, I, I, I think we, we we should talk about. I think we should um, offer up like free, like I, let's say free, um, because I think there's some um, honourable mentions that everybody wants to kind of mention. Is if you want to do that, same for the for the like your favourite beer. But I'm gonna just as a starter, I'm gonna say my beer of the year was uh, Pressure Drop, understanding whole systems. Wow, good choice. It's good best. They've, they've come a long way from no, that brewery. They've, they've, they've had yeah, such a resurgence. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I find oh, it nuts oh, oh, oh. that um, yeah. like the, they're the, like bedfellows with Verdant, and I, I used to be like this big Verdant fan, but I'm massively more convinced by what Pressure Drop are doing now than I am with yeah. what Verdant are doing, which is yeah. Well, it's, what I had uh, that conversation on Thursday with a couple of people and saying. Everyone's still going on about third, and it's like, well, now pressure dropper. What I've had from them have just been like, wow, they're, they're, they're uh, co- compared to when I started drinking their beers, what, five years ago? <laughs> it's chalk and cheese now. Yeah. yeah. And they massively yeah. dropped off the radar, didn't they? They just fell yeah. completely yeah. off the radar. Yeah. And now they're just like back yeah. with a vengeance. Yeah. Like, since I, I've been I, cannons, just, you know. Yeah. I, I, I'd go so, so far as to say they fell off the radar like Mikella. Fell off the radar in the UK oh, in terms of yeah. in terms of like they're oh, actually like Mikella have, have actually been pretty oh, yeah. decent, but, but like the actual you know in terms of market penetration, they just fell off. They were they went from up there with <laughs> I, I went there. <laughs> they went from up there with like yeah Brewdog when they were you know bring their beers in, into the into the bars and stuff. They were like so so high, and then they just like went, and they just dropped, and then no one was pressure dropped. In. No, one... no pressure. No, the, it was Ooh. behind the net all along. That's what they wanted. <laughs> they didn't want to be seen as anything good, and now they are. <laughs> yeah, it's worked for them. It definitely has. The hype pressure dropped. <laughs> See that, Peter? Yeah. See that, Peter? See that, some Peter. Where's Peter gone? The pressure dropped. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go next. Yeah. On the, but my, mine is one that we actually looked at on Good Beer Live for sheer enjoyment and reaction to a beer. It was the salt, right. bow line, bow line. 
still don't know how to say Stop. it. And I, ju- I just I just finished this can just now. It was damn good. It's oh, um, can yeah. is better than the draft. Oh, is it? Oh, well, I see. I've only had the cans. I've only had oh, the right. cans. Can is better than the draft. Uh, but I mean, in terms of like when we first cracked it open and we started pouring it, I was like, oh, this is looking a bit just from the pour. It was looking a bit interesting because it was like yeah. pouring velvet out of a can. Yeah. Uh, and then and then it's just a ridiculously well made beer. And, and the, I mean, there's no, it's, it's a simple beer. It's, there's no sort of uh, frills to it. It's not the not the best beer in the world or anything like that. But for me, that 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 was one that that surprised me the most this year. And as as like a sort of a collective reaction we had on Good Beer Live when we had it, it that sort of cemented it as. And and and, and, I, and I, I, we got sent another can. Um, and and I brought I brought another can uh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, right, cool. <laughs> Cause, okay, just because okay, I like found it down your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can get like, <coughs> well, t- two different bottle shops like near me. They both have salt beers. And, um, we can't get them down there. We can't get them down yeah. there. Uh, so yeah, yeah, de- de- definitely. I think I think that's. The, I think for me, that's one one of my one of the beers of the year that that's of note. I'd definitely say. Yeah, mm. I mean, uh, I've, 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 I've had it a bunch of times now. Yeah. Um, when, when you drink it cold, it's uh, very black IPA like. Oh, um, draft version when it's um, a bit warmer is very much more porter like as well. I like it cold. <laughs> it takes me back to Stone Sublimely Self Righteous because it's got loads of hops in it as well. But um, yeah, no, it's absolutely cracking. Last, actually, the last port, uh, last time I had it was at the brewery. And it clearly had been sat in the lines for a while. It was oh, really? It was diabolical. <laughs> and the one before I had, I'd had it, it was a cold can, and it was like, oh, this is just absolutely perfect. It's, it's like the beer that I've been yearning for for such a long time. But yeah, absolutely. I think I think that's a I think that's a good shout. Um, but as, as I said early on, um, it's all about as much as of being kind of impressed by something because of how it's made and stuff. It's about mm-hmm. moments. And that's what yeah. stays yeah. with you. And that'll get you keep you coming back yeah. for more as well. Oh definitely, yeah. Well it's, it's just a... because you wanna kind of you wanna um you wanna go back to that moment as well. Yeah. Mm. I like I like when 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 I poured that can I like savoured the pour of it. I was like oh. <laughs> Yeah. It's great it's good. Yeah, it's yeah, great yeah, as, at the time, and uh, multiple people told me since that all um, Colonel Export, uh, Export, Export Porter, India Port, East India Port, or whatever they call it. There is still one bottle. On that, yeah. Still one bottle of that living in the uh, the basement slash cupboard of uh, a house in Marlborough, right, which okay. was designed for Paul's bottle share. All right. Wow, that's <laughs> probably past its best. It probably is. That's I still got, just drink it. I still got one of Paul's beers as well. <coughs> there are about. I said that a whole bag full of them. Yeah, I've got one yeah. of his a bomber. But there's one of one of uh, one of Rob's maidens from there as well. One of what? Your siren maiden or maidan? I don't think You're that was mine. I don't think that was mine. Yeah. It was. Okay. Was, was it? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. It's it's there for the, for the Paul again. Do it. I it's mean, I mean that would be a do it. Yeah, I mean I could because you know I can do anything. You know, Danny can, Danny can, but <laughs> you do it. Do it. Don't hold on to it. Beer's not, it's just, beer's oh, not for beer's for drinking. So was we on best beer or best brewery? I was best beer, wasn't it? It's best beer. Best beer. Best beer. Um. I've got I've got two for this, um, possibly more ever since people have been talking. But yeah, two for this for sure. Um, the second has to be one from other half, uh, which is cream on the inside, green on the outside, which was just a ridiculous beer. I had it back in June, July. Super sweet, dank, mangoey. One of those beers, just generally one of those beers, but just done so very well. Um, but to keep it short and sweet, best beer has to be for me, weirdly, a style which I hate, which is black IPAs, um, because they can go and die. Um, 
and it was in in the dark. I love a fucking IPA. Yeah, well, yeah, fuck you, Rob. So, <laughs> it was. It was. It was channel this uh, right no, new microphone sh- there we go <laughs> but here, here the comments of Parry Meadows on mute no, like, kicked and in. blocked you, you, you're a shit um, in the dark <laughs> we die <laughs> in the dark we die from Tempest now Tempest is one of those breweries for me that just went off yeah and just died for everyone <laughs> but uh, it was in the in I the dark we die just in their little kind of area but on a yeah. yeah, I mean, like, uh, I had from. They only like the black stuff. Um, that wasn't meant to be as racist as it perhaps seemed. Good. Um, <laughs> it, it was. Oh, uh, I'm sure it wasn't Harry. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I've got a fucking card for that, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's black IPA, double black IPA, and I don't normally like black IPAs. And it was like a beer that really kind of turned me into like actually liking black IPAs, creamy, chocolatey, stouty, you know, coffee, but then all the hops at the same time. And it was just that little touch of booze as well just made it so much more drinkable than what it would have previously been. Um, You know, I gave it a five out of five and it's a beer that remains strong in the memory for sure. Um, I'd love to have it again, but that was a bottle from Beer Zoo, which is up in Aberdeen. Okay. Yeah, but real good. Definitely. one. Definitely the best beer for the, of the year for me, because it's one of those beers at the same time, it was so, so juicy and so dank, but chocolatey and coffee, which I don't like to mix together at the same time, but it was just so, I, I could just smash it all the time. Hmm. Smash it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh, fuck it, do it. Nice. Who's I'll up next? It. Go on then. Um. Well, very. The three beers have really stuck stuck out um, over the year. Um, London Pride. So I'll, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go in. I'll go third. Wayne Rose. Oh, Goblin. I'll go third. From third. Um, so third is uh, <laughs> from my, lo- my local brewery, uh, Tom Tide, Super Sprap. Um, you know, pretty damn amazing beer. Uh, back back when I had it the first time, it was kind of done the review, blew me away. It was one of them wow, wow kind of beers. Um, unexpectedly as well, um, considering uh, double IPAs, hazy IPAs. I've had this year that really did kind of surprise me. Um, just edging a little bit further ahead of that, um, I've actually got the can here. Um, I actually reviewed it well, not recently, but I posted a review review recently from uh, Domination uh, City. This is their Monster Mash double IPA. Um, they're out of uh, Quebec, I think, Ottawa. Ottawa in Canada, so a Canadian craft beer brewery in second. Um, but first was um, I had a Free Fontaine uh, Uda Gurs Cuvée Almond and Gaston, but it was the first release. Um, so I'd aged that about three and a half years and took it to a box share, and it's one of the, the best, well, it was the best beer I, I think I had this year. <coughs> yeah, again, a style, you know. A girls, so it's like um, seems to be where my taste buds are kind of slowly heading, I think. Um, but yeah, that that was uh, that it was the first edition of that series. They've done multiple since. I think I think it was something to do with uh, the collaboration breweries done that one, and then they'd fallen out with I think Bone, I think. Not too sure. <coughs> um, and they don't do it with that anymore. With do it. That, that blend anymore. Do it. So, so yeah, do it. That, that, was, that, that was awesome. And actually drunk it with the guys in the chat. Uh, uh, I can never remember his, uh, what he uses as a oh, friend sunset. So, 
but yeah, lives just up the road from me. So, um, but yeah, that was awesome. That was an amazing beer. There you go. That's it. Cool. Very good. Very good. Very good. Peter. Well, I'll get me. Are we just doing best beer, or are we mixing it with best brewery? No, this is best beer. Best, best brewery, I think we, we there's, there's probably everybody have like three, really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, best beer. Um, first, well, technically, third choice is a series, and that would be the Spontan series from Mikula, because they've been consistently satisfying, no matter any, what the, any, any the fruit that's added. Within that kind of like, Menagerie. Um, the, one, the one here. that I've got noted down was the Spontan Pentradrupal Blueberry, which was just what the what what is that like eight? Eighteen. No, the... I think 18. so. It's just a lot Edition. of blueberries Blueberry. added to the the, the beer, and uh, that was good. And uh, the free Friedrich style. Uh, Bontan cherry, with the Friedrich style cherries was the just stuff's in play. absolutely phenomenal as well. I've had, I've had, I've had, I've had very the wine. wine. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. The... Oh, that's so gorgeous. Such an authentic, just kind of like beautiful, cherry beautiful flavor. drinking experiences. Cherry quality. Yeah, yeah no. definitely. Probably the best cherries in the world, I'd say. Um, then I'd say the triple mylar daydream from other half, which I had yeah. about a week or so ago, and it just cemented why I absolutely love triple IPAs. Every now and then, I couldn't do them regularly just because no. it would be a absolutely horrific. Treat. Yeah, Enjoy just the the body. Isolation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, well, yeah, that, that was damn good. And then um, another one that I tried for the first time this week. Um, I know I've mentioned this beer before, but the Dimension Shifter from Frau Gruber. Um, it's just everything I want with that style of beer. It's got the, the perfect use of the hops, but then it's also backed up by an absolutely glorious, glorious mouthfeel. Yeah. And uh, the ca the can that I've had tonight was just as good as the one that I had last week. Because I thought it might have been a fluke, because you sort of like get lost in the moment when you try beer like that. But what it's one of those rare occasions where you try the same beer twice, and then it just reinforces why you enjoyed it so much the first yeah. time. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> Jake, have you had? Have you offered that kind of beer? I'm, I'm, uh, feeling, I'm feeling some serious bladder pressure right now. Really? So, uh, yeah. I was had a go. No, no, I, did, I, did, I did bone line. You can take over. You take over for a bit. I really need a little. I really need a little. You go for a piss. Look, Craig's gone. Wait, let's, let's, just, let's just talk shit. Talk shit oh, about, about Rob. Who are we talking shit Who? <laughs> Who? Who's he? Fucking cunt. Fucking Northern Melina. Cunt. Scat. Just a fucking shit fucking art attack presenter. Mad. Who fucking, you know, fell up on hard to stop doing beer reviews. And look where he is now. Still doing beer reviews. You know, after 20 years doing beer reviews, he's still doing beer reviews. Trying to make some money, he just can't make any money. Go back to Art Attack, Rob. Go back to Art Attack. Make some money there. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, I, I, I've lost. I went for a piss, came back, and then Rob's gone. <laughs> and I'm not sure what's happened now. I was just asked to abuse people. Come on, Jake. You can yeah. do it. You know. So here we are. 
So that's that's mm. the new I fall back onto. <laughs> so so uh, everyone's answered that best beer question. Don't we have to wait till everybody comes back to do best brewery, don't we? Surely. Yeah, if I can. I think so. Yeah. What, do, what? do we have any comments? What's the uh, best cup of corn? I don't, you I don't know where we got to yeah. comments. Let's have a look here. Mark Kelly's had some. He said, "Oh, uh, I think this was Rob's comment about Hop City." He says it's gone stale. Beers will taste the same. Beer City trumps Hop City. Trump Beer City. Mm. And then he says, <sighs> "Oh, it's up. And he says, "Good night, folks. We'll watch this tomorrow." I reckon, but for now, z z z z. Goodbye, Mark. Bye, Mark. And that's it. That's it on the comments. Bye, Mark. From my scouting Mac. Yeah. That that classic scouser, Mark Kelly. Mac, he's actually a Liverpool right back at one point in his life because there is actually a Liverpool right back called Mark Mac Kelly. So, uh, when everyone does a scouse accent, you've got to go high pitched. No one ever does like a low. Try and do a low scouse accent. No No one does a monotone scouser. And I'm very deeply offended. Because we can and all do, from... we can all do fucking John Bishop, who all fucking talks like this. I can't do the accent, so we have to go like hey, this because hey, that's mace, how they fucking mace. talk like that. We all hey, talk like that. stop fucking, stop fucking taking the piss. All right, well, you know, there we go. You know, fuck there off. You. Was in Liverpool yesterday. You picked it up. You absorbed it. <laughs> well, you, you can't do exactly. A yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not like half my family comes from Liverpool. Well, do bring it out. Fucking Danny Kane over here. Fucking Danny Kane. Who the fuck are you saying about? I can move into that accent, which I shall not talk about again. That really offensive accent, which is not Birmingham. Well, it is Birmingham. What, what question are we at? Are we on the same? <laughs> we're, we're, we've, got, we've gone to Best Brewery. Uh, we're waiting for Rob to come back before this uh, What's your show can accent? get back on track. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so, I'm, see, I, I, the question was on the chat best UK brewery. That's but, all I've uh, done. Essentially, Peter, or do you, bro? I tell you, or do you, man? Or do you? <laughs> Obviously, I come back when Harry's been ready. He fucking went there. Or do you, bro? He went there. Or do you, you know what I mean? Or do you? <laughs> this is on my channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> Has, it, have we, has everyone done the? We done best. We done best beer. Done best beer. So big one. Yeah, we done best beer. And I, I'm going to say, I think, I think three. Actually, I'm, let's, let's just go for a couple of comments. I've already done this. I've already done this. We've done it. Mark, fucked off. Oh, I, 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 I caught everyone up on the comments room. Oh, did you? Brilliant. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so the so only true best, professional. <laughs> so best UK brewery, which is the most important. In your absence, Rob. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, best UK brewery. <laughs> I'm going to. Well, do we, do we start with kind of honourable mentions before we go for the big one? I or do we go so. big one and then honourable mentions? I like the idea of honourable mentions and build it up to. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. The crescendo of best <laughs> British. Crescendo. I'm going to say. <laughs> Yes, um, I think I think Cloudwater have been fantastic this year. Uh, I think they've had a really strong year. They certainly have, have yeah. great beers from Cloudwater. Um, the the one that they did with uh, with Sabro in the in the summer was absolutely stonking. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'd like two last night, and they were both fantastic. Um, the it was a just. Um, what was it? It was Nelson and New Zealand Cascade. <coughs> Can't remember what it was called, but it was lovely. The um, they, they, they've done this. They did, they did this series leading up to the election, and there were one which was um, once again a kind of new. It was I think I can't remember what it's called. Oh, that was it. And I did a video of it, I think, as well. Um, what said? What what said and done, or something like that. Um, that was incredible. Um, but and I think just the, even there, just the when you say core range with Cloudwater, I think that's become very strong. I think you can rely on picking up that IPA, that double IPA, and you'll get a really good beer. <coughs> so I, I'd say 
Cloud Water had a, a, a really strong year. Um, I really want to pick up the. Uh, every time I go into my local shop, I want to. Uh, I mean to buy that fucking Imperial, the, that Tonka heavy Imperial Stout, because I think it'll be the first. Cloud Water Imperial Stout, which, which is going to kind of impress me, so I think they've never really hit those marks. Love Nazabir, obviously, Peter mentioned it earlier. That. That, that nitro pour of Nazar beer was absolutely stonking, but just that beer in oh itself was God. really good. Oh. But just the, the standard beer from of, of that it was 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 damn good as well. I think they just really hit um, like a real rich vein of form. Maybe maybe they found a little bit of maturity as a brewery as well. Um, yeah, and found and found their kind of lane. I was just gonna, yeah, I, I was just gonna say that. I think. Obviously, a lot of credit goes to Paul, but I know there's a good team uh, involved team. throughout yeah, yeah, in yeah. Cloudwater. And I, I think just I've really enjoyed the, well, especially like Paul's approach to brewing and then other breweries. And it, it's just so endearing when you like listen to him in interviews and yeah. uh, when you see like posts on social media. And I don't know, just. I think fundamental philosophical cloud water have been short. Yeah, there's a, yeah. There's a philosophical and approach, they, I think, which I think it chimes with a lot of people. And, yeah. I mean, and it clearly does you, and it does me. You kind of respect you know, what they do. Um, yeah. yeah. I, 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 can't, I can't help but be a complete homo, and um, I, mean, I, I love North. Uh, I think North have done some great this year. I think some's been better than others, and they've not been kind of like. They're not being faultless. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not um, clouded in that sense. But I think um, they make some incredible beer. Um, but my number one, it's gonna be a massive surprise to everybody who's watched this from the start. It's pressure drop. I mean, and I would never. Oh no! Like, surprise. Take me back a year ago or something like that. <laughs> I would have never thought pressure drop it would be my like yeah. brewery of the year. But I've had two tonight, actually. They have a more tonight than that, but you have a two tonight, and I think they're great. They just tick all the boxes for me, and just the, and obviously IPA is a big thing for me, and their style, their flavour in IPA just really chimes to me at the moment. It, there's a there's yeah. a real balance to a New England style, um, which is going excessive in the kind of sweetness direction, and for me, obviously that because that's my preferred style of beer. But then it does, <coughs> excuse me, there's some great stouts as well, which I'm partially on as well. But that, um, but I've had a, I mean, Slumber was incredible. Um, early in the year, Escape Pod was out of this world. I'm on the holiday rolls as well, which is pretty damn good. Not as good as the other two, but um, yeah, I got Slumber in the yeah. fridge. Uh, which one? Got one Slumber in the fridge. Oh, Slumber's fucking incredible, man. Yeah, yeah. I love that. It just, it just really appeals to me. And the, there's a cleanness to their beer, which I think mm. I, I kind of like. I, I really enjoy. But yeah, so mate, for me, beer of the year, pressure yeah. drop, nice. mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick it up right there? Because <laughs> go for pressure, it. Pressure drop <laughs> have been absolutely banging this year. From as you said, Rob, like from where they were to where they are now, it's such a such an achievement as a brewery. That they were just like in the in the fucking lower they're just right fucking just down there. Where oh, they were. Yeah. And and, and yeah, now they are like, up there. I always like their brown ale. But then pale the, fire. Uh, it's all right, but... but they were just they're, they're, they're in the slums. They brewed something that was bang average in in a Bosco Bosco IPA, for example. Bang a bang average. You could pick up so much better for so much less. And then all of a sudden, when they did their little their, their little project, I still haven't been to it in London um, with with Verdon. And all that's of a sudden, terrible in that fucking place, though. I I haven't been in there to try the beers. <laughs> like, <laughs> hopefully no. All of a sudden, their beers became actually very fucking good, and like I think it was this summer, their their beers just became ridiculously good. Um, so 
yeah, I, I just uh, then then they came on the forefront and they started trying their beers. Weirdly enough, I was in the shop earlier on today and they were one of the biggest sellers. I didn't pick any of their stuff up because I okay. thought, you know what, I want to try some other stuff. There was Mills and other stuff available. Another very good brewery, but you know, big big year ahead for Mills, I'd say. Um, um, but yeah, I think best brewery for me for the year. Pressure drop is definitely up there. Daya again is also up there for me, mm. but Glasshouse again, their distro is shite <laughs> for a reason. And I spoke, to, I, I spoke, I spoke to, uh, I spoke to um, in, in about this this uh, today. Um, they're just trying to take it easy. It's one of those groups. They're just trying to take it easy. They want to get out there. They don't want to get go out there and do a fucking burden and just go mad. And here's all our fucking beer. And then oh, we can't cope with it. They just want to like slowly release in and and and, and drop it out of there. But sensible glass, growth. Not wrong. not wrong with that. And I've just you know from what I had back in when they first started back in 2014, I had their beers back then when they were brewing on 25 liter kit. And had had those beers on keg, and they were good. And then they moved up to a hundred liter kit, very very good again. And then now they've moved to a five barrel kit, and they're still the same quality. And I think just for me, going in there again, just reasserted everything. Their beers are so so high quality. I haven't had very much from them this year, not as much as maybe had over the past couple of years. But the quality of the beer has definitely been very very high. No, for me, rating on Untap, for example, giving everything at least at least a four point two five. Um, everything's been really, really good. They've done some sours as well. I think that's been a little bit of an influence after speaking from, with Josh today as well. A little bit of influence from the uh, from the guys from Dig Brew. So um, Donica, who used to be a Dig Brew, he's now moved to um, used to be called Battlefield, it's called something else now. Uh, Revolution Brewery, I think it's called, over in Shrewsbury. Who haven't actually tried any beers from yet, but um, but yeah, they've just definitely up their game massively. So before it was just like ridiculous solid pale ales, and then now they've moved to doing like sessionable fucking crazy IPAs <coughs> and sours. I honestly think that Glass House, once everything get, gets nailed, then they will be the you know the the big big brewery. But uh, for them, it's you know, get some money behind them, and then they'll start properly producing some stuff. But at the moment, they're just taking everything very, very steadily and not really going too crazy. But yeah, definitely glass house for me is UK brewery of the year for sure. Ooh, nice choice. I like it. Why? Thank you. Who's up next? Uh, Don't be shy. I'll, I'll, I'll go next. I'll, I'll throw my hat into the ring. Go ahead. Go yeah. <laughs> the uh, well, I'm, I'm well. My my honourable mentions. I've got I've got a few. Well, salt was being was going to be one of my honourable mentions. Um, sure. I've been to the brewery this year, um, which is cool. That, that uh, chat and vocation. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then. Uh, yeah, ha- the beers that I've had at the tail end of the year that I've got from bottle shops and stuff have all been, have all been pretty, pretty banging. Really, I haven't had a bad one, and be- and and because of like the beers that they sent us and stuff like that, like I, I now look out for them um, in bottle shops, and I, ha- I haven't been disappointed yet. I mean, they could they could do bad ones, but I haven't tried one yet. Um, and then Little Earth Project was another one, but for the main reason being is their their pub. Uh, the Edison White Horse is just like a great place to be, and they've they've done a really good job. That they still cater for like the camera cask people, and they so they they keep like really good cask beer. But then you have all of these like ridiculous sour beers that you can like get beside them. It's it's a complete sort of dichotomy of a, of a place really. But it's like this uber traditional looking pub, but it has the craziest beers you could possibly get in the country. And uh, so I, f- I think for that, and and I mean they draw people in from all over. To come and stay there on their like, at, in their like little huts and the 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 camping place that they got. So I think like, as a brewery to have that like draw and the, those other revenue streams is like, re- must be really beneficial for them. 
and plus they just do ridiculous beer. But but I think enough, enough, again going local. I think burnt meal for me this year they're, <laughs> they're just uh, they're just they're just up their game and just yeah yeah I want ups and downs for me burnt meal. Well, I, th- I think oh, for me, it's just like they, they, they just quiet. They just quietly go about, go amongst their business. They're not like necessarily looking for for sort of fame and fortune. They just sort of like it's, it's a bit sort of like Colonel esque for me in a way. It's just they sort of just churn out beers, true, and yeah, and they're just always of a high quality, and I, and and I can get them like mega easily here. So I think I think for me, for me like Burnt will take it. Hmm. Sticking with, sticking with the locals, yeah. Which which I think is like, well, I don't like, I don't mm. know. It's just it like the regional sort of like local stuff that you can get. It, 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 it's a bit like the American scene. It's like everyone sort of sticks to their local breweries, and I did it. We, we, no, no, no. Well, I mean, like, well, because when you go I out, you probably landed. yeah, yeah. So like, you fucking did it, mate. There you <laughs> go. The yeah. pains me. Yeah. But, but I mean, I, I mean, in terms of like, because I mean, when you go out and drink and everything, you go to like your local places and stuff yeah. like that, don't you? It's uh, I, I and, and I think and I think the, the way the beer scene's yeah. going, people are investing more in in those local sort of bottle yeah. shops and at sorry, local tap rooms and everything like that. They're not necessarily look like you said about Glasshouse, Harry. They're mm. not looking to distribute widely. Mm. They're looking to nail their market in yeah. where where they see it. It's it's the same with us as well. With with, with our lot, we we don't really want to move too far afield. You know, we we could go like we go into London to an extent, but we could go really far afield if we really wanted to. If you want to push that far, we could do it. We we have the marketing and strength to do it, but we don't want to do that. We just want mm-hmm. to push to the local market. Nail the local market because that's what we do best. It's just drinking car scale and just pushing it further, further afield in the car market, and just right. get, getting the getting the idea that you know local is better, local beer is better, and a lot what? of people around our way get that. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's the last house in this year, and uh, it wasn't actually one of their their powers. It was a, it was a uh, dark beer. Um, yeah, had it in. Uh, Killed the cat in London, yeah. and it was uh, they, not, not 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 today. Nibs it was amazing. Yeah, they they, they did check some stuff out back in like uh, May June time. This was yeah, it was in June. Yeah, yeah. they took a load of stuff out. They just thought let's give it a go because they just started the brewery, the big five barrel brewery for them back then. Yeah. Just started that up, and. Then they just thought, you know, what? Well, after speaking to, I speak, speak to Josh and the, 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 the kind of feelings I got as well. It was just like, no, that's not quite the way we want to go. We want to hold it back a little bit and just keep it local. And, and I, after today, it was just a really nice local vibe in the bar and just nice and chill. And I think they want to hit 2020 pretty hard and try and go real hard on the local scene because if everyone knows in the local scene they, they know how good they are but at the same time they just want to hit them massively get the beers nailed and um just you know be, be but at the same time be pretty chill about it they just i think that's a, that's a big thing it's just local beers over the next few years it's just you know hit local your local local people Local ales and local people. Local ales and local British people. British ales and British people. Local beers for local people. Nothing for you here. Yeah. 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 Nothing for you here. Sorry for your tops. I weirdly believe in that. Is you know. Can I can? Can I can? (laughs) At the same time, when I go to London, I'd rather play pay pay fucking you know local fucking <coughs> my prices rather than fucking five pounds sixty for a pint of fucking Heineken. Well, well you don't have to buy it. Well I don't hate that it, but that's all that's available. That's on you. Yeah. I mean you, it's, you chose that. It's either that or a the life you chose, Harry Meadows. It's either that no. or a JD, JD and Coke for four pounds sixty. Or water. save a quid. Or go water, for the JD but, you know. and Coke then. Just yeah. go for the JD. Don't put the fucking Coke in it. 
Yeah, I mean, just buy a bottle. <laughs> yeah, for forty nine seventy. Or don't drink. <laughs> or just, or just do. Just do it. I just do it. Or just buy a bottle of Pepsi. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> Pepsi Max bastard. Or buy buy pints of milk. I, I found a Pepsi Max on the floor when you left, <laughs> and I was just like. Floor. Half open. Peter's, Peter's been here. No, emptied. Because, you know, that's the Empty. fucking slot he is. He drinks his Pepsi Max all the way yeah. down. That's all the way true. down. All the settles way down. my stomach. It settles my stomach. Does the it? following day. Oh. That and a busk pan. <laughs> Gavis gone. I'm ready to go. Gavis gone. Gavis gone. Gavis fuck is good. Uh, 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 Southern fucking scones, Southern scones, Gavin scone. Yeah, scone. Gavin scone. So, so <laughs> don't blame Flam over this. So, who, who's <laughs> up next? This is the fucking pinnacle of the uh, of the chimney. I'll go next. Go on. What, will you? Shall you? Don't derail this. High so we've, we've, nonsense. We've, Exactly. And it, it, this we've is how uh, I've covered cloud water. Only seven questions, and we're nearly we're two and a half hours in. <laughs> <laughs> we're still not fucking yeah. finished. If someone's watched this from start to beginning, then God you're, bless you're, you're, you're yeah. my hero. And, uh, have a great Christmas. Get in touch. <laughs> we'll all send you a beer from a local brewery. Yeah. That's how much we care. Yes, yeah, oh, drinking. They've but, gone uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I owe you more than you will ever know. I will happily come down and touch you in in appropriate manners. I mean, I can do yeah. it. Okay. Want to. <sighs> so, getting so. this show back on track. Come on. Which, funny enough, that's what I expect um, from you, Peter. Every time would be would be would be, would be track. I think. Hey, <laughs> last year. Exactly. Last year, track at the start of the year were like on fire. Then they sort of tapered off towards the, the end rails. of the year. Yeah. Yeah, off the rails. Derailed. <laughs> and um, and then all of a sudden, they got a canning machine. And I think that made all the difference with them. Hmm. And some of the both in can and on cask and in keg just absolutely fantastic they're back on point um, just some absolutely fantastic uh, imperial stouts that I've had from them which you you don't really attribute too much to track because it's all about like Summonar uh, Sonoma and um, Journey to the Sun Sonoma. and then Sonoma. Sonoma. Sonoma Sonoma County. Sonoma County. Can I can I have a pint of Sonoma? Sonoma. 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 Which is Sonoma. It's fucking fantastic in camp. It's fucking fantastic on keg, and it's absolutely fucking fantastic on cask. Right. right, plus they do really good merch for like proper proper sizes. <laughs> proper I'm not gonna do any me. more Mancunian accent. Yeah, fucking the proper male trinker. Size, proper size. Perfect size for the male trinker. Because we're not all, you know, fucking twenty year old students <laughs> yeah. living in the Skinny city. Little, good boys. Sorry boy, you <laughs> fucking nightmares. Exactly. <laughs> Who's drinking a little bit? Don't let me go, like. Terry Christian. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, please do. Please do. Yeah. No, I completely appreciate it. I completely appreciate it. <laughs> right, because, you know, not everyone <laughs> just has one can and they go away. Some people like to have a couple of pints on a night. And I think track with their <laughs> merchandise, it's perfect, isn't it? Now, I was on the word 20 years ago. 
You're so somewhere between Frank Steinbottom and Tony Shirt America. I love it. I love it. I have, yeah, I'm sort of like yeah. Blender Breed too, but yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's my impression of Frank Steinbottom. Wow! With his big uh, paper mache head. <laughs> and then that awful Michael Fassbender film, which is. That's not Frank Sidebottom. No, it's not. But uh, anyway, I digress. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think track of. I think track of uh, come a hell of a long way mm. uh, this year. That's an amazing bit of track. When, yeah, when it, it could have. They could have just become. Like, they could have easily fallen to the wayside because they were just produced a lot of samey bottles. Mm. Where there wasn't really much difference yeah. between batch and batch and seasonal, but they've got probably one of the most consistent pale ales in Sonoma. <laughs> Sonoma. They do some really good you collaboration. Sonoma. <laughs> they could have become a Sonoma. shit, a shit pressure drop. Is what they would have could have become. Yeah. Was that a table I, beer? I, I think. I think uh, a real godsend for track. God, we've talk, we're talking about track a hell of a lot. Um, if they're not your best is, brewery, if you've still got two more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, they're not my best brewery. They're not my best brewery. I've just got a lot of um, affirmation yeah. for, um, right. or admiration, I should say, for Next. track. Uh, so, yeah, track, honourable mention. We've mentioned Cloudwater already. Uh, I've had some Fantastic beers from Torside this year. Um, I think criminally, criminally underrated, but I think they're their own worst enemy sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when it comes to the branding, which, because I know it's the wife of the head brewer who does the artwork, and she's a very talented artist, but. She don't so big. I, I can't. All right, don't get sexist, Harry. I'm not. And I think, I think if they were to get into cans, I think that might be a good move for them. But from what I've heard, their brewer's not too fond of going in that direction. So I kind of respect that because he's sticking to his guns. Um, on cask, nine times out of ten, you're guaranteed an absolutely fantastic uh, pint, <coughs> half, two thirds, whatever. Especially their dark beers. They really uh, do a good job on their dark beers. So I'd like to see a bit more from Torside. But I think my brewery of the year has to be uh, Northern Monk. And I, lo I love them so much that I even got branded fucking chopsticks <laughs> <laughs> from the brewery. And the uh, I think the the big thing that I love about Northern Monk is that focus on collaboration and not just from brewer to brewer and brewery to brewery, but bringing so many different sort of uh, creative fields together from uh, food, restaurants, to artists, athletes, musicians, um, I just love that like hub of creativity. Plus, I think they've actually really knocked out a good brand identity, which are probably two words you don't really want to associate with brewing, but I think Northern Monk have done it in such a good way where it's not gimmicky, it's not too capitalistic. There's still that emphasis on the beer. And their Patrons Project series, this year specifically, has produced some fantastic beers. And it's also led uh, a lot of breweries outside of the UK to be showcased uh, to a British drinking audience. <coughs> and I think, uh, I think a lot of breweries have really benefited um, internationally because of Northern Monk and with their tap takeovers and their collaborations, you know, we're getting some absolutely fantastic beers coming into the UK. And a lot of that is thanks to, I personally think Northern Monk. 
and especially the the American breweries. So I think, um, yeah, there's just something about Northern Monk that I absolutely love, and um, it sort of like encapsulates what I love about this community. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, it, it, it's just, it sort of like symbolizes why I do this and why I share my passion. And I know they've got a little bit of money behind them. I know they've got a bar in Manchester. They've got the refectory in um, Leeds and they've got some you know, international distribution now. And I think it's just a testament to the beers that they produce. Although I'm not a fan of their core range. You're not heathen. You're not a fan yeah. of whose core range? You're not heathen. Northern Monk. For, for the most part, I heathen. think a lot of Northern Monk's core range is quite wishy washy. Aside oh, from I love it. I, love it I think that's a. Oh, I love yeah. it. I, I, can't, I just. Faith Eternal. Faith is it. They don't. Faith is it. They don't. Eternal. They don't, they don't, they they don't, they don't, they don't do much for me. We don't get on cast because we're down on sound. Drunk a lot of people. It's a lot of heathen this year, cracking. Oh, yeah, heathen. I, dr- I, I drink a lot of Heathen, I think, is a standout beer. Oh, yeah. It's a, well, but, uh, I, I love faith. I think yeah, they're great. You drank loads of heathen this year. It is good. Yeah. Heathen's been one of my consistent go tos, but there are other beers in that sort of core range. Just don't do much for me. There's not much of a core range. As much as I love it. I think this is. This, this is something that Peter, Peter and I, Peter and I spoke about um, at, at the piss up was like that Magic Rock nail it on their core range, and Northern Monk yeah. don't quite do it. No, because they it's, it's the importance of the business, the focus of business and stuff. Magic, but like uh, even Rock, even before um, even before uh, Magic Rock uh, got Magic Rock out. Are set up to be a very specific like, uh, like um, commercially viable business. Um, not mm. among, um, see the uh, uh, seduced by, I'd say, uh, I don't mean it in a negative way, seduced by the kind of um, mm. the more salubrious, um, the more kind of like niche, um, those kind of all those projects and stuff. I mean, as someone who kind of like sits in a creative position in an organization full of more um, better paid people who make those decisions, um, the, the, the allure of working with creative people, um, his is is very uh, very um, compelling, um, mm. so that's why I I mean in, in the most cynical sense uh, um, that's why paper project pr- prevails because maybe the, 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 they are um, pioneers in a lot of ways they are uh, but but in the mo- in the most cynical sense is it's fun to do that shit but it's fun to go go up Ben Nevis with a photographer and a the film mm-hmm. on the oh, yeah. no, so hey out dolls and stuff like that. It's fun to do that shit, and mm. and I I, I, will, I don't begrudge Ross and his his, his team for doing that at, at all. Just why go to the effort of slogging your ass off to make some beer if you don't get any anything back from it? But uh, I guess that's the difference, which is a clear distinction between somebody like Magic Rock and Love Monk is that. No, um, Magic Rock. They afford themselves luxuries with, yeah. within those param- parameters, but even from the start, I mean, you can, you can take a shot, um, take have a, have a fucking slag them off, whatever you want, um, because of the decision, financial decisions that they made. Yeah. But yeah. it's about making it's about making a quality product. It's about appealing to a broader demographic. It's about making money in the end. It's it's business. It's a business. Um, it's business. You don't you don't get into yeah. you don't get into business to, to, to kind of like appease someone kind of like artistic links. You do it to make money. Um, you just gotta be realistic about oh, these things. A business that Peter could get into business with is Walkers. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Be fucking correct, please. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little, I'm a little bit above Walkers. At no, you're not. Though. <laughs> you're not. Basically, you're above your, you're above your station. M&S, there, mate. M&S Beef Wellington. <laughs> M&S Basic Pick. <laughs> don't, don't just put the fucking packet down, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. 
Crispy, you crispy creams. <sighs> anyway, ales. Fuck it. Oh, it's too go. quiet now. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just it's, right. it's one of those things. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Go on, then, right, I've got I've got I've got um, a few bits and bats to uh, certainly two very honourable mentions for sure. Um, one's um, Time and Tide, another local brewery. It says it's going to be like probably third or second, doesn't matter, whatever way around. Um, they've they've produced some very good uh, IPA this year. Um, most certainly three off the top of my head. Um, monster soup and they've done ham sandwich which is based on a signpost it's a a yeah well it, it's actually it's actually based on a signpost you've, you've got literally ham which is just down the road from sandwich oh it's right okay. so it's actually it's quite it's quite like locally famous signpost um right. and they've done obviously the super sprout which is pretty damn good i've not had one of their new one of their recent ones yet um but yeah they, they, they've they've definitely this year very much improved in the new england style ipa kind of category so I'd give them a shout out local as well but um i don't know the, the distro on some of these kind of uh limited release cans so, but you know um Another, obviously, very kind of local uh, in Sussex, uh, Burning Sky. They've produced some amazing stuff this year. And it's actually one of the most, one of my most drunk breweries. Not me drunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, that they've, um, one of my, I've, I've drank a lot of their beers this year. It's one of my top. All of them. Had beers oh, the... <laughs> this year. Um, I think I done a I done a like a week uh, in the summer. Um, a week, week, yeah. Showcasing some of their stuff. Um, that that kind of went quite well out in the garden, bloody blah. Um, so yeah, they've done some great stuff. Um, I've had recently <coughs> some of their uh, their what's it called the the friends and bloody blahs. You know the new. Uh, I can't remember what it's bloody called now. I had one the other day. I had the blend. I've had two versions so far. Uh, is it Four Friends? That's the beer. Um, is it Mills? Uh, the Cider Company? I can't remember. Harry, you'll know. Oliver's. 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 That's it. Oliver's, uh, Mills, uh, Colonel, and obviously Bone Sky. I had the blend and I've had. I've had the Mills version as well. So, yeah, so amazing. Um, going on from that, um, a brewery I've been, which is my brewery of the year, been very impressed with. Um, I've had a fair few of them. I had one the other day with Harry, actually. Uh, Yonder Brewing Distilling. Um, they have really impressed me. Um, they come down here a few months, probably about four or five months ago. There's another tap takeover, and uh, just the general quality of the beers. I mean, if you're not, it's not going to be perhaps one for say Rob because they're not kind of like IPA centric, if you like. Um, again, which is what I still love IPA, but my my kind of tastes have really definitely evolved into sours and. Mm. That sort of thing in the, certainly in the last year. Um, well, I guess and it, and it's, 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 and it's another brewery. yeah, but uh, and a, there's been a lot of sours since it, I think over the time it's going to change your taste buds a little bit more. It turns in one way, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I just I, I really do think yonder of if you're into that sort of kind of style of uh, beverage, then. They've blown me away. I think they've been absolutely fantastic. And I think it's a brewery as well. They're, they're not a massive brewery, but they do a lot yeah. of kind of like foraging for their beers and natural ingredients and that sort of thing. And 
Um, there's not too many breweries that I'd say do that. Um, I'd stick to I, I saw you that, right? I saw you that, that, was, there, yeah. that was good. Yeah, I, I, I just think that they're, they're, they're very overlooked as a brewery. Um, yeah. Their district is not very good, but they're, they're certainly coming down this way a lot more. I don't know about where you are. Um, well, you're, you're very close to them. I, I, not closer than I am, Harry. Yeah. Um, but I'm not yeah. sure about Jack. Did they make it out to your way, Jake? Um, we, we, yeah. see, we see bits and pieces. That there's certain pubs, especially in like Norwich, that gets get their stuff. Um, yeah. So I've had a few bits this year, but not not that many. But what, what I had was really good. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I just thought for me that you know I've had a fair few beers from them this year, and they've all been they're not not been like wow, but they they've all been a very good yeah. kind of quality. Um, I mean, you've got you, you what we've already mentioned earlier. Press drop are doing amazing. They're doing some great stuff. Um, the usual suspects, you know, Northern mm-hmm. Mark, Clairwall, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if going away from the obvious, yeah, I think they're, and I think Burning Sky as well, and Time and Tide, yeah. they're you know they're all breweries that are. I mean, I, I, I people doing their Instagram thing, so they you know the beers of the year and like breweries to watch out for in twenty twenty, and Time and Tide come up quite a few times. It's like, well, yeah, I've been, I've been drinking their stuff from the start, so, which you know, if you live locally, you know already, but perhaps not nationally so but yeah beyond beyond the beyond <laughs> beyond yeah <laughs> and they're in the chat as well funny enough wonder yeah wonder wonder scott scott and uh oh right wonder. scott and wonder beyond <laughs> scott and wonder beyond hello <laughs> and matt as well Can how I you doing matt there's a few. There's a few. I'll let you do the chat. Man. New comments. I, I have not looked at new comments for a bit. Fucking hell! It's a, it's a glitterati yep. of um, um, comments. Uh, have, have, have we got onto Long Straw Stewart? Have we got that far? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Okay. No, it's Long Straw Stewart like a descendant uh, of Stewart. He's Terra Mark. I don't know what that means. Uh, He's a short straw. Uh, he must be uh, looking for something to eat. Come on, a bit, Mark, please. Then, uh, hey, Mark, uh, Mark. I presume it's got, because I'm sure Wanda's got much better things to do than watch this shite. <laughs> Evening, gents. Merry Christmas to you all. Yeah. Myself, I'm a, being a blast this year. Oh, thank you very much, sir. And it's then they say, hi, mate. Merry Christmas to you, too. Not, it's the highlight of the year, year, actually, meeting. Well, not meeting, but just go on that. Really yes, I'm sure, and I'm sure we will do. Um, yeah. No, look, have been superb. Also, they've been uh, casting into supermarkets too. Yes, absolutely. I wanted to go to Morrison's today. I just didn't get that far. Secondly, <coughs> um, good in Portsmouth, they're fantastic as well. Yeah, I don't get enough. I always see. I mean, Simon's videos. He's got a couple of cans in that fridge you know, in his shelf, and I always think, Simon, drink those beers. Don't. Mm. don't st- Put your free Bentos pie away. And drink <laughs> those Stegger and Eagle beers. If, um, if, if, you, don't want, uh, if you don't want to drink, we are great. They are great with a, a beer tube royalty. Um, Matt from Massive Beer Reviews. Good evening, fellas. Happy Hi, Festivus to the rest. See, I'd Matt. say happy Festivus to the rest of us. Festivus. And so, therefore, we've got to have the area of grievances. Happy um, Winterval. And, and the feats of strength. Um, I'm all for Festivus. I think Winter I think home. families don't forget to put your pole up. Would be better. Put your pole. Put your pole up. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> your al- aluminium pole up. Absolutely, I'm right. all for Festivus. And I will happily fr- donate fr- the um, to the, the what was George's the something Jesus. fund. And he was like, I didn't give him presents to uh, <laughs> a, a human <laughs> fund or something like that. The human, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Something like that. I'm like, it's beautiful. I, you know, I would happily live my life back like George Costanza if possible, <laughs> especially with the gotcha. the small kind of enclosure under his under his under his desk where he'd have a nap. He's like built. He got something to build in like a little shelf 
this pillow and things, and the alarm clock. I would ha- I would very much happily live that existence. But yes, thank you, Matt, for, for joining. Um, but yeah, Matt, Matt's doing a, um, do, do a chat tomorrow night. He's doing yeah. some bananas. Um, yeah, um, sure. Christmas beer, which I, I I wanted to get involved in, but then I'm usually too pissed or too tired to be effective in those conversations. But please do check Matt's chat out tomorrow night. On that, have we all, have we have we all done it? Have we all done our kind of like breweries of the year? I think yeah, so. we've done it. I think we've so. done it. Anything else? Any other business? Done it. I guess that's we've the thing. Done it. And this is, I guess, the whole I, thing I, I, about I, I, 2019. I, I, we've we've, we've done, done it. People who've been shut up, shut up, dickhead. Anybody who's watching now, if you want to ask us any questions, something that we've not covered, please do kind of like ask us now and we'll do our goddamn best. What 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 was the what, what was the yeah, one earlier about be, beer, of beer of the decade? Sorry, Jake. What was the one earlier about beer of the decade? Could you put oh, beer, beer, of, the beer of the decade? Because because we're going that into twenty twenty new decade. That was my uh, yeah. That was my friend. That was my friend Simon. Said that. Well, I st- well I did start hop in two thousand nine. Was so, what was your first yeah. what was your first review? First review was Southern Tea Cranberry Brewery. Beer of the decade, right there. <laughs> it's a fucking good beer. I've drink it today. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll blow my socks off. Absolutely. But, my, you know, my, my first review. Yeah, my first review was like a evil twin beer, I think. And it was a, it was a pilsner for for some reason. Well, not beer of the decade, probably. <laughs> no, not 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 beer of the day. So. Yeah. And that was four years ago, four and a half years ago. There's been loads of beers. I haven't got a clue. Mm. I struggle with doing beer and beer of the year. I I, I think I think weirdly mine has to be one of those beers nowadays I drink it, I'd probably enjoy it, but wouldn't enjoy it quite to the extent which I did. Would be Omnipolo Anagram. Oh, I'd love yeah, to try it again. It was. I'd love to try it again. It was a good yeah. beer. It was just like a massive, massive eye eye opener back then because I had it back then. What 2014, 2015 sort of time, and it was like yeah. such an eye opener. It was like, okay, there's a new type of stout around, and this was in the early days of me drinking imperial stouts as well. Um, it was, it, I, I'd, I'd say uh, for, the, for here, it's the early days of uh, pastry stouts in general. Oh, definitely. It was, one, it was of one of the first ones. It definitely one yeah, of the first I mean, ones. Yeah. I mean, at the time, there was no one else doing anything like that the week yet. I mean, in, in America, I, probably. Anagram was r- ridiculous as well. Just like a crazy yeah. star. Like, yeah. here's cheesecake and blueberry in a stout. Blueberry in cheesecake. In stout. Yeah, it's just bonkers. But now you, you can go around. You, I mean, I've just brought out all these new kind of releases in the last week or so. Yeah, like made some made all some bloody yeah, 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 the other yeah. Day. Some of those Fizzy. Biancas are shit. I've tried a that's, few of them today. That's, that's the, yeah, but that was the first batch they when they first threw in the cans and stuff. Yeah, they were terrible, but they're they're pretty expensive if they're not very good. They're like yeah. yeah Oh yeah, it's, they're, not, it's thirteen, fourteen pound a and that's and that's the cheaper. Yeah. I'm sure if you go to a bottle shop, they're going to be like seventeen, eighteen quid a can. We 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 cracked a few open at Glass House, hence the joke where we made where I just fucking open it straight out from the fucking tank, and they're yeah. all shit. They're all shit. Oh, wow, really? What oh, that, shit? That, yeah. That the, the, the blueberry anchor. maple goes. The maple one is was, the one I like. Shit. I think they're very specific. Yeah. Um, that the, yeah. Um, yeah. They're not really beer anymore. Yeah, they're that's just, what we're saying. They're, they're not beer. No. They're, they're shit. No. I would say the shit. I think you, they're not shit, the, but they're not the, beer. If you listen to kind of like conceptually how kind of Henix sees it all, um, it's not he beer. kind of sees it as a, bit like a drink. 
You don't see it as being beer a lot of the time. It's not beer. And beer may be the underpinning yeah, of the concept. Not beer. But, um, yeah, that's the... Uh, and yeah, the... We, 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 we may open the most recent one. And we, there's like four have appeared recently. We, we opened one the other night. And it was like blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, and something else. Maple, pancake, whatever. Yeah, that, that's the and one I've been looking at. That's the one I've been Sweetness yeah. and the maple but, and stuff. But it's... It is what it is. It's 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 fun. It, it's fun. It, um, yeah. What do you pay for it though, Rob? What's it, that, that's I wouldn't what pay saying. for it. No. no, no, exactly. But what do you pay for it for that sort of fun? And that's what we were saying. And the whole point what of the bit. Of fun that we have. It, well, it's 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 in, it's a point of interest. It's 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 it's, it's interesting. It's um, yeah. beyond. I mean, I think, oh, it's, it's out. Not, it's out. But oh, it's my, out. Mark has been commenting that. Tonight he he absolutely loved the most re- the previous one the the big maple one he's yeah. got multiple cans of that and dragged yeah. it to himself. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's he, he like very kindly you. gave me a, a substantial sip of that when we're in Leeds. Yeah, yeah, we were Sheffield. Yeah, it was yeah. it was damn good. But I wouldn't it's have not, I would not have bought that can. Yeah, but the, 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 there also is a justification of what you're willing to pay, and for me. I, I'm sorry. I think that's I, I, yeah something that's adjunct city kind of cross between a uh, it's not beer. It probably tastes very good, but then you kind of lose sight on it's trying to be a beer as well, and it's not. And you're paying fourteen, fifteen pound a can. Mm-hmm. Could you could you drink a whole can of that? How sweet is your tooth? It's a bit like uh, the. The uh, Wonder Beyond, uh, was it that on, on the, oh, I can't even pronounce it, you know, that really ridiculous. Uh, octopod. Octopod, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, God, that was me- gorgeous. Yeah, but Matt, you drunk the ho- did you struggle with the whole can, though? I actually Fuck choked no. three of them. <laughs> I drank that, I drank I drank that can of way too quick. Yeah, a lot of people would struggle with that. I think it's probably why they brought out them. 250 cans and it, it does make yeah, sense that they bring right. those beers out of that can but I, I I thoroughly enjoyed my can. No, it was one of my favourite beers last year. I think I think a lot of people would struggle with it. That's what I'm saying. It's that sweet over hype sweetness and mm-hmm. sickly sweet almost. The the thing that get the thing that gets me is you can make that beer without adding all of that additional sort of adjunct. Yeah. Because I mean, a lot just, of triple IPAs will taste like that. Yeah. Um, if you had, yeah. If you had, if you had, it may be sour IPAs. If you had loads of like uh, lactose and, or milk sugar, as they say in the States, that kind of thing, then yeah, I kind of get that. So I, I had a, I had a uh, sour IPA a few, few weeks back and it was very good, but it's just, it was very, it's that kind of adjunct thing again. It's although it's an IPA, <coughs> it's an IPA, it's that mega sweetness, and I don't know. Not, everyone's got different palates, of course. You might love them, which is great. But yeah. but together with the, uh, the the price point, I'd say I think that's probably the biggest thing with with these big Omopolo cans you get mm-hmm. is is the price point. I think you put a hell of a lot of people because on of what I've seen today, they all like. For those cans, the Bianca cans, they're like nine, ten pounds for a can. Like, Bianca is 13, uh, 13, 14. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, it's more. Okay, I was looking at very underpriced Bianca then, but, but, but those, <laughs> sort of like, those sort of like super. How the hell do you come across these underpriced beers, by the way, <laughs> Harry? Have to be a top lad. Just have to be a top oh, lad. Yeah. Harry J. Beer. Ventures over it. It's actually, it's actually HM Services <laughs> is the company you need to know. Brilliant. Yeah. Harry Steel. Yeah. yeah. No, I no, should we, do we, that. We, 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 we've got a couple it. of we've got a couple of those down in the Ravens Gate at the moment. They got that in the, the smaller can, the cherry thing. They got that as well. Like, I, picked, no. I, I, I picked up one of those tiny little Wonder Beyond beers. Uh, I do today as well for free because you know I'm a top boy. Um, of course, even they're, even they're overpriced. Size of yeah. it's like that, fifty that, or five. 
I had I had else? golf and that wasn't that wasn't that good. <laughs> I might I might just start doing like Ramsbury Gold and Ramsbury, you know, Farmer's Best in those little fucking <laughs> you no know, two fifties and seventeen well pound have, twenty for a cam. Might, yeah, but you may as well have like three thirties and charge a five, and not four, not bloody two fifties and charge four fifty or five after fucking hell, you know. See, like. <laughs> I, I like the idea behind it. I love the I idea behind it. it. But, but to an extent, I understand it because what I'm told is the reason behind them doing it is for the Scottish market because apparently they're going to move to some fucking shitty shit where they can't have a certain amount of sugars or they can't have a certain amount of ABV. Uh, 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 openable. I, I think I said something about this on the... on. On our like fucking session, you, you can only have a certain amount of sugars and a certain amount of openable drink um, before it breaks some fucking shitty, fucking wanky EU Scottish bastard law. Yeah, and that's why we voted Brexit, but it's not. Um, but it, it's, it's 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 kind of <laughs> <it's a> weird... <laughs> we we all voted that. No, fifty. Uh, 50... Good, good save, here. Harry. Good save. Yeah, we we, we, we did. You know, we. I, I'm Simon Mann. We voted that. We all did that. We asked for it. We did. Here on our channel. On, on our channel, we, we 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 together. Team. Me, us, and the team. Us, you, me, we, and our wife. We all voted that. In our wife. Yeah. Who's our Who's our wife? Simon's wife. <laughs> We, oh. we we voted that. All right, I think we should stop this conversation <laughs> at this point now. Please, thank you, Peter. <laughs> we. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why? Anyway. 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 <laughs> I think we've all we've all um, ticked all those boxes. I think we've all decided that um, the we like did. the best beers. We the ticked year. I'm right. Um, especially if you're wrong. No, I think I think I think it's I think it's a really good kind of um, overview of what people in kind of various like corners of the country kind of like kind of like yeah. perceive, and because so there's like a nationalisation of you know like beer in certain categories and stuff like that. Was Peter just pissing in the corner? <laughs> has he got? Has he installed a sink in his, in his he, bedroom? He Peter's a fan of nationalisation as well. But get, get, getting back to the yonder cans, I actually asked the head of when he, when he came down, I said, how was it received? And his answer was... He was really just clean my glass, gents. <laughs> right, shut up. Um, but his answer was, well, look, we've all been sold, we've sold out. And I said, like, well, yeah. How many did you produce... You know, you, you kind of sidestepped what I was actually trying to get at. Was it how was it, Jim? No, no, uh, Wonder. They're, they're, they're 250 cans. Oh. I said, how was it generally perceived? Yonder, not Wonder. Not Wonder. 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 Wonder, Wonder, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Yonder Wonder. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but the you know what I'm saying? Wonder like, Beyond. There was, yeah. I'm beyond. I'm beyond this. Um, but but it, it's kind of like that was. Sorry, <laughs> I've got. I was going to say. They said that oh we sold out. Uh, I said oh, yeah. are you going to do any more then? Oh no, I we, know we, they we, can. We we I can't. Didn't know they can. What are you talking? I'm talking about the Manchester brewery. I'm getting it wrong. What you under? Know, under no, no, oh, what? Wonder Beyond. Craig, Craig's talking about Wonder Beyond. Wonder Beyond. Wonder Beyond. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so the as, I, as, I, as, I, as I was saying, as I was saying, finished, like, yeah, uh, round up the whole situation. But no, I think it's, I I'll think it's quite an interesting kind of situation where um, I think I everyone, everyone's kind of like aware of like, the broad scene. Then everybody, everyone kind of like maybe they take a local kind of plan to it, and then maybe they uh, uh, kind of enjoy something from further afield. But I think it's a good representation of um, 
it's not just every. We're not like all agreeing on everything. I mean, I think it's, it's kind of inevitable that you'll think, yeah, they are good. Yeah, they are right. Pressure drop of is a really good. Yeah, you I mean it's, it's inevitable, and that's and that I think that shines through because um, because the cream rises really. I mean, cream rises to the top, doesn't it? And I think that's fair enough. Um, but I, I like I like in a way um, that is not obvious. Um, I don't know, I think anything what we've kind of like come up with tonight is is predictable. I don't think we can have like chasing trends and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think for being kind of like honest and yeah, you find yourself in your kind of little pocket of the world and this is what you like, but then you you appreciate something from further afield and stuff. So I think it's um, I think we've summed up. British beer in a lovely, lovely way. This can, can, can I just yeah. add something? I would definitely agree. Because, right. because that, that no, please, please, honestly, honestly, Rob, please, I, do, I do agree please, with you. Um, fucking bullshit. Can I? Can I just add? What is your? I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm not gonna let you finish. Rob, Rob, let you let you finish. Me. What is uh, your God. beer brewery? Oh, brewery for the There we go. Oh, brewery for the year. Good ahead. question. Yeah. Uh, pressure drop. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I don't, I don't actually have a clue. I don't have a clue who's going to be the next big thing. I can never see it. I mean, Craft Beer Channel will try and do it and stuff. I mean, do you know what will happen? Um, very little. Because yeah. the, 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 the lines in the sand are already drawn. Um, people like IPA, people like um, tasty imperial stouts. Um, mm-hmm. There will be deviation between those kind of like else in, in between. There'll be sour IPA. There'll be farmhouse stuff. Um, the, I mean, it's variants on on traditional styles where something of any substance comes from, but nothing nothing that much changes. Because IPA is the most yeah, powerful, enjoyable yeah. kind of style yeah. for a lot of people, yeah. especially the modern style where where's with low bitterness and things like that. Um, it's the most approachable thing. Um, and I don't I, see the I, point. I, 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 don't, I don't see the point. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them as well. trying to predict styles or what we're going. Just because you never know. I mean, no one predicts. So I like bacon. I'm gonna like bacon tomorrow. I like bacon. No, too. Yeah. No, not, not, not many like bacon tomorrow. It's... But not not many predicted New England IPA was gonna be the next huge thing. So No, but it's IPA. It's just it's, it's, it's Yeah, it's, but it's just no one predicted it. Yeah. It's, just, no. it's, it's just IPA will IPA. always be at the forefront. Yeah. Green green yeah, IPA at the, fr- at the front. IPA. It's a great talking point. It's a great talking point, but it doesn't. I completely agree. But really and truly, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be no. good. Yeah. No, it doesn't, no, it doesn't matter. I completely agree. It's a great talking point. I think it's. Yeah. it's yeah. I, I, I have to say, like, I, 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 I've, I like been, asked, I've been asked a fair bit, like, what would, you know, Pasteur, for example, have been billed to be one of the big breweries of next year? Who, do you know what? Because they do sour beers yeah. and they've got a fair bit of footing behind them. Yeah, but didn't, weren't Little Earth Project in that same situation last year? They were, but Pasteur are apparently better for this year. And I don't see them being, I've tried a couple of their beers this year and I do not see them being anywhere near where Little Earth were. People in the southeast and the southwest are, 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 are trying to find something to kind of like glom onto. Mm. It just, it, it's this weird situation. It's how, and it's how commerce works and stuff as well. Major cities, good stuff happens, happens in major cities. And then, obviously, in the yeah. beers, beer situation. There are weird little anomalies and some wonderful little things that exist on the fringes, um, but 
that ju- that's just how it is, really. Yeah. And do you know what? There's not much fucking going on in Warwick. There's not much going on in Exeter. But there's, there's, loads there's, of- there's some decent Warwick stuff going on in Warwick that I know of. And yeah. my, my cousin yeah. actually owns a brewery in Exeter, so... Birmingham. I mean, there's... Yeah. What about, what about no, Scumford? But... No, no. <laughs> Is that, that brewery in Grimsbury, though? Yeah. Doc Spears, whatever it's called. No, good, good, but but it's not, but it's not Cloudwater. No, it might be one it's day. Not but it's, not. it's not Magic Rock. It's not Colonel. It's not Pressure Drop. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And the, and and there's what about that brewery in Skelmersdale, yeah. Peter? No, but there's nothing to brew down there. Exist in kind of small pockets. We've got one brewery in Skelmersdale. But but my point being, with with brewers like Pasteur, I think it is. Uh, I think it's people who are on Instagram quite prominently, and who have a yearning for for that kind of area to be a lot more kind of like significant. Hmm. Um, and just it's not, but you can't control that. So yeah, you just gotta kind of like go with it. Daya and Verdant are popular because of Leeds. Oh, it's they just don't. that's how it, it didn't. It, it didn't start organically. It was. It was. It was. Well, no, they were prominent. It might be in a place. Oh, it might be. Daya, 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 Daya for me, like I didn't know that about that. I didn't go to Leeds that year. Daya started mm. up because they were supplying local bottle shops and bo- local bars and stuff with their. Mm stuff in cans, not on keg. And only recently they started supplying stuff on keg. And still now it's fucking hard to get hold of one of their kegs. I can't for for the new bar, I can't get hold of them hold of them to try and get kegs. I'm having to we buy get, my... we, we get steady now and again down this way. You, you can get it wholesale but it's fucking expensive. Yeah we get it we we we've been getting them on and off for probably a couple of years. Ste- only steady but I, I I can get I can get a steady quite easily. I've got it for Christmas, but it's like still, you know, it's a good price that you pay for it. You know, you don't see it often. <laughs> you don't see it often. But like, honestly, I think, well, yeah, I I, I completely agree agree with you, Rob. Though, um, in terms of you know beer for next year, I think it's too many people are overhyping this sort of thing for for the year ahead, and I think. Pastor has already always always been suggested to me as like one of those breweries to look out for. I've tried a couple of their things and I thought like honestly reminds me of when Twisted Barrel were remi- kind of suggested to me as that's a brewery to look out for. And they weren't. They were yeah. like, you know, they're, they're, they're okay, some of their stuff is good, but it's not. Yeah. Um so I think for me for the year ahead. I'd look out for your local breweries in general to support them and help them out is what I'd say. Just support them and help them out and, uh, you yeah. know, never know where they'll be. And next year will be the year of lager, I tell you now. I mean, <laughs> yes. I <love> it. <laughs> well, a brewery that's doing quite well is, uh, I mentioned it to you um, when we was in London a couple of weeks ago or last weekend. Mm. Um, oh, I'm here. Yeah. Iron Maiden Pier. Yeah. Iron Pier. Okay. Uh, out, I think in Rochester or Chatham or something like that. I think yeah, they've got stuff online as well. From what yeah, they're, they're, um, I've had a couple of bits from them. They've been they've been okay, but they're, they're, they're not stopping at cast. They're going to... So we'll see how that develops. Craig and do Craig. New. It's not Krask. <laughs> it's not Keg. It's a new yeah. form of ale. It's going to be live. It's going to be served yeah. through your mind. Oh. Iron Pier Live. Yes. <laughs> They're going to shove yeah. iron served on your cap. mind. So, yeah, th- so that's Task. one potentially thing to look out for next year. Imagine so. a different way of drinking beer. Not through your mouth. Not through, through your ass. ass. Not through your Not- ass. different <laughs> way. Through your mind, injected. No, even inject. That's heroin. A different way. Like I want to drink. I don't care. I'm not interested. I want to drink through my eyes, through my senses. Well, well that's on you. Face. And taste it that way. Drinking VR. Yeah. 
No. Yeah. Very good. Very Oral good. drinking. Oculus tap. <laughs> right. So unless, <laughs> let, let's just have a look. last look at the comments. And one thing I want to say: if, if there's anybody in the comments who st still want, and very much thank you for us sticking with this absolute shit show for the last three hours. <laughs> in um, I really do appreciate that. Um, if you got any co comments, questions you want to ask us before we we all fuck off, um, please do now. Um, or you can put it below, put it below if you're watching it not live. And, and, so, um, a couple of bits of maths. When it, one thing I do want to pick up on is Matt did say it's the human fund, absolutely, Matt. It's the human fund, it's not a life. And he it's also backs it up with, um, it's not a lie if you believe it, absolutely. Um, Simo270 says, here in Preston, uh, there's a, a fairly new brewery called, um, Beer Brothers. They are um, brewing loads of fantastic stuff, and sadly, at the moment, the um, it just applies to Preston area. But that's it. Embrace, embrace your local area. Nobody, you'd have to be, yeah. you'd have to take over the world. Just appreciate what you've got locally. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Just yeah, yeah. and revel in it. And if they want to expand and yeah. support, and if they don't, then just. Hey, you've had them before. It's done a, a, a serial version um, or something. It also goes on to say, uh, no, uh, if they could um, have a seven mandate, brothers could, seven from brothers Manchester, that to branch out of the area. But I have seen Beer Brothers in booths, so they are yeah. accessible for me. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I have to give them a try then. Do as you want. Do you beer please? Beer Brothers are down here. Now, where the brewery is, the Beer Brothers. And uh, they actually possibly may get into a bit of trouble uh, over one of their names, one of their beers, because it, it's very same similar to one of their, uh, another local brewery known as Mad Dog Brewery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alex. yeah one of Alexis beer, uh, beers, he did that... Um, Stouty McStout Face, which is one of the beers at Beer Brothers done. Cool. Stouty McStout Face. But anyway. Yeah, but on, 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 on how, how many beers are called Stouty McStout Face? Just one of them. Don't hijack my, my, um, my stream for your kind of like... Hijack it. Okay. So we've decided. I think, what what's the general consensus for the evening? Would you say? How do you sum up the evening? Be, um, um, don't invite Peter and good? Harry onto a good beer life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Fair enough. I, um, I think it sums up British beer is mm. in a really good place. Yeah. I completely and it can only get better. I completely yeah. agree. Yeah. Last roundup is not with not the obvious suspects as well, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the important. I guess that's the entire point. I mean, um, we can represent in different kind of areas, and which is a great thing. And accidental, really. I mean, I'm Yorkshire, Jake's kind of like more kind of like um, um, uh, Norfolk, Craig, Craig's over, uh, over kind of like a um, bit more southern. Harry's wherever the fuck he is, um, and Peter is <laughs> in, uh, over in, in, in Manchester. So yeah, I think we've kind of we, we, we've got the opportunity to kind of like represent quite broadly in yeah. a way, the but then understand the that kind of like understand that kind of situation in a where I mean, because it does exist, it does exist that central kind of like thing is like what is expected to be good and um, be appreciative of. All that business as well. Um, so, yeah, yeah. All, the, all the bases are covered. All the bases are covered. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. good. It's, it's completely accidental. Yeah. That's I guess yeah. the point I'm making. But um, but that's no bad thing. So we may we, we may as well wind this shit show up uh, before Harry hijack hijacks it once again with 
<laughs> various <laughs> situations. So big too. thanks to everyone who's like stuck with us, and then we've had a like consistent kind of viewership of like eleven people from for like four you three and a half hours. Awful we, people. I, I I cannot say um more kind of like appreciative things than uh, than that. I mean I really that that's insane. But then um, why? So, and for why? everyone who watches this madness uh, for three and a half hours after the fact. What? Hopefully it will yeah, hopefully it give you a little bit of insight into what like some of your favourite beer tubers thought about stuff in the last year. Um without being too um too kind of fucking self congratulatory. Um but yeah, no, it's good. It's always good to get to get together with and talk with some good friends as well. So that's the entire point. I've had quite a lot to drink. I've got a little bit of an imperial stout left. I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed, and that's about it. So big thanks to Jake. Happy New Year, Harry. everybody. <laughs> Harry, watch my new yeah. channel, from Jay Terrio. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Happy Festivus. <laughs> and the and the lovely, lovely, lovely last but no, by no means least. Mr. Craig Samuels, how are you doing, mate? Cheers. Have a good Christmas nice. and uh, speak to you soon. Yeah. Have a good See one. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. I'll come on down to New Orleans. <laughs>